We don't know. I don't know. What we're I think doing. so. Welcome so this everyone. Is... Good, well... Good welcome. Oh yeah, there you are. We're actually live. I... This time. Sorry, the stream key changed. I didn't have the stream key or the password or any idea of what I was doing at all. We actually started the stream, had a conversation before we realised that the stream wasn't live and uh, no one could hear us. <laughs> yes. Because um, we're idiots. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm very, very bright. Am I a glowing this, am I beacon. This, am I always glowing this much? In these dark times, you are the light that, that gets us through this lockdown, Lewis. I don't know why I'm glowing so much. Your your camera is probably auto exposing you. It wants it wants to expose you more. It is auto exposing me. Look, I'm turning the light down. Oh, oh, it's just making it weirder. Oh yeah, let's it's get a little bit of atmosphere. There. Look how nice shit spooky. this looks. Sorry guys, we're so budget. <laughs> it's just quarantine things. Even the title looks budget. Where's the fucking capital letters at, Lewis? You can change it, Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a bit of professionalism blaming, here, please. Putting it, putting it back on you. <laughs> so, at, to have the same conversation we had uh, 15 minutes ago, how was Triforce? Good, good, good. Yeah, it was fine. We talked a lot about Doomsday stuff for some reason. Oh, cheery. Um, yeah, I don't know why that is something that we felt like we had to talk about. It's always, it's always. Um, it's always a weird choice of, of conversation on Triforce. It's just sort of whatever we whatever we have in in um, in our mood, whatever we're in the mood for. In the mood for the end of the world, then. Apparently, uh, yeah. We're, we're playing Over the Alps. Um, did I put the name of the game in? I probably didn't. It's I mean, Minecraft, apparently. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we're playing Minecraft. Mm hmm. Um, game. Over the apps, does this do it? Oh, oh Fav, change it. Thank you, Thank Fav. You, Fav. Uh, Twitch chat. Last week, there were some donos that I didn't read out. Oh. So I took a screenshot of them. Oh, nice one. And I was going to start with those because... But it, did I stream from home last week? No, you were in the office, weren't you? Maybe. Yeah, you were. Because had, you had the same sort of background going on. Uh, well, I've lost it. I put it in this folder. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! What are we doing? What are we doing, Lydia? Why are we so bad at the game? Let's mm -hmm. like, where's, where's the sound? Can anyone hear? I this? can. I can hear this. I can hear the sound. Oh wait. Yeah. No wait. I've lost it. It's gone. You oh, jinxed it. I've lost the sound. Out. How about that? Is there any, uh, any game sound? God. Uh, and it, it's going to be lovely when we're back in the office, isn't it? <laughs> the streams. The quality. Oh, hang on. The ambiance. How about this? The titles. Hello? They're going to be incredible. I can't hear anything. Oh, I hear, oh, wait. No, no, no. There we go. I hear sound effects. There just wasn't any music. Wow. Now there's loads of music. <laughs> Woo! Oh God, it might be really loud. Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! This, this is music. This is like skiing. It's noises. really loud skiing. <laughs> it's very loud skiing. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hang on, chat. Sorry. Is that overwhelming for. And I'm way too loud. Alright, I'll put my. It's alright, no, don't worry. Back. I've. Look, relax, everyone. Relax. We're gonna get this stream on the road. It's gonna be fine. Just it, just go with it. Roll with the, roll with, roll the with it, and just please relax. All of you. Please yourselves. don't leave us. I need Lydia nice and loud. I want Lydia. Yes. Lydia loud, because otherwise we're never gonna. You know, she's the star of the show. <laughs> yes. Yes. With my authentic Italian accent. Well, you're authentic. I mean, your your accent. Blew, blew me out the water. Is that what I'm saying? How's this? Is this... Hello? Hello? Louder, Lydia? Hello, I'm talking at a normal sort of thing that I like to talk at. Hello? How's that? Okay. This is fine. Good. Everyone, good. welcome. Welcome. Um, I turned down 
the skiing quite substantially. It's very fucking loud. Why is the skiing so loud? You might have to. He's very aggressively skiing. Uh, it's all good. All right. We're, it's all right. We're just setting ourselves up. Sorry, guys. Like, fucking... See, it's first thing in the morning, you know? It's 20 past 11, all right? We're, we're, we're barely we're awake. awake. <laughs> I had already done a podcast this morning. It's yeah, it's there's still been hard at work. Right, so... What... Let's recap where we were. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lydia, let me just mute this for a second. Yeah, I'm it's just skiing. It's overwhelming. Okay. That, I've muted everything, though, I think, including Discord. Shit. Hang on. Um, <laughs> hang on, no. Is this muted Discord? No. Okay. Are you good? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can yeah, hear okay, you. Cool. Yeah. I've muted the game, but apparently not for chat. They can still... Yeah, I can still hear it as well. I think you only muted it for yourself. Excellent. That's good, though. Uh, <laughs> right. Do me a do me a recap, Lydia. Recap. Where we okay. Were. Basically, we are playing the part of this handsome devil who is a spy, um, and we are. Um, it, this story takes place. It's like a kind of visual novel. Uh, into the Alps. We're like it takes place. Where are we? Switzerland. We're in Switzerland. Yeah. Um, but we've also been to like France and Germany. Basically, long story short. We don't know who to trust. Who else is a spy? Who's on our team? Um, there's a, a lovely German lady, although we actually we found out she's French. Fraulein, Fraulein, whatever her name is. Um, there's a young woman who is Italian and her father. And what's their deal again? She knows the blueprints for something because she's got a photographic memory. So Fraulein is after her and we're trying to keep her safe. Yeah. So it's World War II. Point, right? It's just about to kick off. There's a frail line capturing a Spanish or Italian lady who we fancy. Yeah. Well, we actually fancy the frail line. Um, no, you fancy frail line. I fancy the Italian lady. But I think that the frail line is actually a French spy and it's actually on our side. Yeah. But you don't um, think so. Mm, eyes, Aubrey. Yes. Remember, Damn people remember. Her eyes. And we're talking, yeah, we're, all this whole story, this whole game is told in postcards that we're sending to someone. Uh, is it called Aubrey? Are they called mm. Aubrey? Yeah. Is that our sister? Yeah, we thought it might be the our lover, but now we, that kind of got debunked. So, yeah, maybe our sister. Or maybe, like, another spy? We don't really know. Is she ample of tit? Says Feel My Wrathy. Um, is she ample of tit? We don't, it's not really... What a... What a way to uh, say it as well. Yeah. Um, is she girthy know. of bosom? <laughs> is she generously endowed of melon? <laughs> she got a, no, an enormous rack. Is a she beautiful rack bountiful of jubblies? <laughs> <laughs> Giant jacket potatoes on her chest. Um, well, I don't think you can really tell. Um, but we'll, we'll look out in this stream. We'll make a special, special, just a special look just for you. Does she have a lovely bunch of coconuts, exactly. <laughs> right, so you're the narrator and I'm, and you're the, no, you're this dude. We can't remember his name and I'm the other characters. It's been a bit of a weird one. <coughs> Are you dying? Oh no! Just... Oh, oh no, oh, no. Yo, Lewis, he was so old. <laughs> no. <coughs> It was probably his time to go. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I got some snack. He... <coughs> oh, what's happening? Oh, God. Oh, fuck. What's happening? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I got some crumbs in my throat. Oh, no. Some... You, yes, you're fatty. <laughs> Choking uh, on your crumbs. Uh, Oh, I think uh. I, I didn't, I didn't, um, they're very dry. You got some crumbs things. in your lungs. They're very you healthy and as such, well, I don't think they're healthy, but they're very dry. So dry, oh. oh. Did you attacks. have a near-death experience? Can you tell us what's on the other side? Mm. Oh, it's nice over there, Lydia. They got, <laughs> we can go outside. Oh, what? Go to the pub. Oh, holy crap. Lovely. All right, so we're, we're skiing towards, um... Skiing towards Fraulein. the bunker, a military bunker in the Switzerland's Alpine defences. 
mm -hmm. chasing Fraulein, who was on skis as well, I think, or they know a sledge carrying Louisa. Yeah, she's got Louisa with her, doesn't she? Well, I guess she needs her for as long as until she can get all the blueprints out of her brain, which I guess is quite a long time, you know. She'll have to torture her, won't she, to get the knowledge. Well, you don't want to mess with the knowledge, though, do you know what I mean? No, can't risk killing her. You want to take her captive, put her in a nice like balcony hotel somewhere nice mm -hmm. keep her mm -hmm. just keep mm -hmm. her sweet give her like yeah. donuts and stuff and just get her to write down all the blueprints <laughs> you know is that all it would take to get you to give away classified government information just yeah donuts? like fuck it it's only a radio <laughs> it's not like it's the codes to like the fucking uh, nuclear armageddon machine yeah you know? you'd need like croissants for that you'd need the fancy yeah, shit yeah i'd need like that. jam and uh <laughs> Oh, God. Although, if you're cracky, all you need to do is just give me some of this, these crisps and I'll probably fucking give it up. That's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's your torture. Just crumbs down in your lungs. Yeah. Crumb lungs! Um, right. Let's carry on. There wasn't any time to spare. Um, Ooh, here we go. Checkmate. So this is, where we, this is where we ended last time, wasn't it? Yeah. In the Fischer Garbelhorn. Oh my god, it looks like a Cylon, that thing. Do you not think? Yeah, yeah, it does. I'm sorry, I'm still overwhelmed by his fucking skiing. It's, is it not? <laughs> it's so loud. Oh, is it so loud still? <laughs> it's, it's just really noisy. The sound effect's really noisy. Can you go into the menu and just turn the uh, sound effects down a bit? Uh, yes. Well, uh, you can just turn it down, can't you? The audio that you're getting from my PC. Okay, yeah. On Parsec. <laughs> On your own right. volume mixer. Do it, Lydia. Wait, okay, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm all right. Carry on, carry on. We good. All right. Uh, I approached the heavy steel door of the bunker. The off-white paint, much of it peeled and chipped, appeared yellow against the snow. What were German agents doing in a Swiss military bunker? Or couldn't see any way to open the door. Or I stashed the skis out of sight and hunkered down, covering myself in snow. Now we can't make any mistakes, mm. Lydia. We have to think. Like okay. A 1930s, hey. Now listen here, see? Uh, <laughs> now us men will handle all these terrible, dastardly Germans, and but you stay out of sight, lady, and make sure to have the coffee ready for when I get home. <laughs> right? Okay, all right, so we need to be a misogynistic man to, from the 30s. Think, think about what we're doing. Okay, uh, all right, so I start to skis outside and hunker down, cover myself in snow. What's the third one down? What were the German were agents German doing in a Swiss in military bunker? Yeah, I mean, we could see. think that. We could. We think should that. figure That's this out. Thought. Yeah. Bunker appeared old, abandoned, perhaps quietly occupied, and serves as a covert German base. <gasps> mm. Terribly. Um, okay, maybe I think we should stash our skis out of sight. I feel like that's something that's going to come back to bite us. Well, but remember they said that we hops. were approaching it, and anyone there would have already seen us. Uh, see what I mean? Yeah, okay. We did just sort of ski up. Like, is is it worth being stealthy? And there's a, but there's only one thing we can do. Well, that's going to be like kick the door open, like Rambo, isn't it? Ha cha! Yeah, we should we should we should stealth it up. Yeah. Let's stealth it up. They might not have seen us coming. I waited like a leopard in long grass. Perhaps a soldier would come out to relieve himself or to scout the slope. Perhaps the Freilein herself, having delivered Louisa, would be returning out of whichever hole she had slithered out of. An hour went by, no change. Oh no. The cold was now seeping through my clothes. I had plenty of time to take in the scenery. I was, I realised, in the very heart of the Alps, alone with only a pair of borrowed skis. Maybe I shouldn't have picked this one. Because mm, we were like in a rush. We were in a rush before, and now we're not. Oh, shit. There was only one thing I could do. I rose up out of the snow. I paced over to the door. And I knocked on. but that's after. I knew you'd come. She smiled. Although I had been hoping you would rescue me and not to get captured yourself. I haven't really described Louisa to you, I think, Aubrey. She Gigantic looks like this. Hits. Huge bazongas. <laughs> <laughs> like two swinging hot air balloons. <laughs> 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 Oh, no. Um, oh, let's describe her. Tall, 
tall. Oh my god! Oh, a me. giraffe! It's me! Although she holds herself as if she wishes she were shorter. She has ringed black hair and deep set brown eyes beneath slanting brows. When she oh. speaks, she waves her hands about like her father. Like an Italian. That's what Italians do. Watching her talk with wrists tied to a chair is like watching a normal person try and talk while wearing a gag. But my wrists were tied to a chair as well, so there wasn't much I could do to help. Getting captured was the only way to get inside, or I wondered if you'd had some idea of the layout of this place. Control the full map of the place, I should think. No, fuck off. Um, getting captured was the only way to get inside. Sorry. Oh. Um, well, anyway, I'm happy to see you. She continued. But how confident are you of us getting out of here? Louisa and I were tied up side by side to wooden chairs. They looked like they'd come from a prep school's exam hall. Well, yes, back in back in Blighty, obviously, I know all about those. <laughs> uh, we were deep inside the bunker in an office of some kind. The bunker was large, dug into the underbelly of the mountain. Perhaps it was due to become larger. I'd seen dynamite stacked near the outer door. Oh, So the way Switzerland mm. defended themselves during the war was they basically just booby-trapped all of the tunnels in and out of Switzerland. And if they were going to be invaded, they were just going to blow all of them. So oh, really? Just, like, just seal themselves in, yeah, basically. Oh, wow. And it would have made it very, very difficult for them to be useful in, like, attacking through Switzerland into France yeah. and stuff. They yeah, had a, yeah, yeah, It's a very much scorched earth defence oh. policy. Okay, some... Oh, that's interesting. Um, so... Has the Fraulein been interrogating you? Or, what have they asked you? Or, don't worry, no, it's a... We'll get us out of here! No, yeah, let's do that, with the big, strong man. Me! Me! <laughs> um, you're the better. She shot back. Then she began to laugh uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> I saw tears in her eyes. <laughs> her head came up sharply. What, Papa? Oh, Papa. Uh-oh. He is totally cool. He's waiting for us in Zurich. <laughs> Are you sure? She studied my face, then looked away. You don't know, do you? You've been too busy running after me. Shut up. <laughs> You're saying I'm a liar? Shut the fuck up. Our conversation was cut short. The door opened, and there was the Fraulein, that little Mauser in her hand. Oh, yeah. Hard to believe she was the same woman I'd met on that train to mm. Milan. Wolf! We meet again. <laughs> or was Ooh. she alone, I wondered? I think the second one, that's more like a spy movie. We meet again. Yes. Wolf! We meet again! Oh, oh fuck, no. she's rough! <laughs> she she rough. sighed. She looked tired. Shadows under her eyes, pale skin. She even seemed a little out of breath. You'd sit down, <laughs> Fraulein. You can have my seat. Yeah. That's a very James Bond. Yeah, I like that. Let us go, Fraulein, for old times' sake. Or, I'd worry if I were you, Fraulein. Let's be cocky, the third one, yeah. Let's be, let's be jokey. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's losing oh, patience whoops. with you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She didn't laugh, only scowled. This Fraulein was far less fun than the old one, Aubrey. Tell me, Mr. Smith, do you play chess? This this Fraulein is Russian, apparently. I can never do it. What's the German accent again? Every time I forget. I, 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 tell me, Mr. Smith, do you play chess? <laughs> no, that wasn't it either. It's a game with a ball, isn't it? Uh, only with worthy opponents. Of course. I'm very good at it, too. Let's say only with worthy opponents. Yeah, yeah. With badass. I'm usually very fond of chess, but it's been a bit of a bore for me lately. My opponent... Oh, wait, that's you. Sorry. Is that you? No, that's that you. Mean? That's you. Oh, my opponents have been so easily defeated. From a locker at the back of the office, she produced an old board and a set of heavy metal pieces. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> that was terrible. I tried to do like a heavy metal. I know. It people was not get the joke. Sorry. I got it. It was terrible. It was it really was... bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was such that a was, dad joke. That was very lame. Hanging out with too many dads. Um, 
Ah, <sighs> she pulled over a chair and set it down to use as a table. You and I will play. If I win, I will shoot the girl. If you win, then we will play again. Oh, I nailed it! That was a flawless German accent. She set her gun down and began laying out the chess pieces. Oh, she can give me the information I require. Um, okay, listen up. I accept. I accept. Uh, you're afraid I'll win. Or you'll never let us go with or yeah. without Louis Super. I'm a, I'm James Bond. You're James fucking Bond, bitch. I can fucking beat you at any game. Yes. I've got some clever tactic. Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh, look, like she's hot again. Stepped out onto the board with a slight magnetic click like the sound of a safety catch being removed. White King's pawn to the centre. Your move, Eris Smith. Oh, do I match her? The goat the one. The goat one. <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't know the rules of chess, so I'm gonna let you choose this. I assume you know. It's, you we, like if we just man. mirror her, then that mm, that's a really that's like actually that keeps us that we can push it to stalemate, right? Yeah. Okay. Whereas if we start doing random fucking moves, we'll be in trouble, right? Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm. I, I've never learned chess, so. She does go first, so you can't stalemate. Yeah. Sorry, this is a 200 IQ place. You, yeah, I'm back here with my 10 IQ. You you did a 200. There's a strategy to deal with mirrors. Oh, yeah. As soon as you take a piece, it's not mirrored anymore. If you take... Yeah. Okay. What is chess? I, mirroring doesn't work. Well, look, this doesn't seem like a good... How should we just go with the goat? Sure. <laughs> The goat one. Move that. Yeah, that, we can pretend. We can pretend that we don't know how to play chess, and it will lure her into a false security, and we can get her. Okay. Uh, the goat one. Okay. Move that. Goat one. The frown line hooted with laughter. Oh, Smith. <laughs> Louisa <laughs> quivered, suddenly afraid. Oh, please tell me you know what a piece is called. Don't be too hard on him. The frown line said. She pulled my pawn forward. He can't even see the board properly from that chair. King's bishop to knight's file, Smith. Louisa strained at the ropes that held her wrists. She couldn't see the board either. Um. No, I'm not going for the king. I'm done. <laughs> Fuck it. At least let Louisa see the board, Fraulein. Yeah, that felt like maybe that's a good trick. Yeah, because then she can undo her? our undo yeah. our ropes. Here we go. Here we go. Um, oh shit! Why? There's nothing to see it. Now play. Okay. Hmm. Bring up my queen. Put her somewhere sensible. Or bishop first. We want. We need to develop the board. We need to uh, romance it. Take right, it out let's on a move date. the knight. Get to know it. Knight forward somewhere. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. That's a good call. Well, considering the alternatives. The Fraulein moved line. my piece, then quickly responded, advancing another of her pawns. There was no way I was going to win the game, Aubrey. I was playing in the dark. You must be wondering how we acquired this bunker. Wolf remarked casually, leaning back in her chair while she awaited my move. Oh, From wait. the uh, redoubtable Swiss army, no less. They built these places to defend themselves against us. Um. You'll never get away with this. What was that? You'll never get away with what you're doing here. <laughs> if you're having Louisa can talk, she'll see. Look, we just need to move the she'll board and let her talk. She'll need to see how badly I'm doing. Let's just play and let, yeah. and let her talk. Oh. Um, uh, I would use this one. Wolf retaliated fast. Her knight leapt out into the middle of the board. Oh. But this is unfair. Louisa complained. Still strange to see. The world is not fair. Fraulein Wolf stepped. If it was fair, we would not have to make difficult choices. And we do. You do. I think we bring out the bishop to where the knight Bring is. out the bishop. It's not advanced too much. Ah, let's use this one, shall we? She played my move, then replied. She advanced another pawn. I'm afraid for your chances. Oh, no, that's you. I'm afraid for your chances, Fraulein Vercoli. Before he loses, you should really... What? Oh, what? No, you're, it is you. 
Because oh, you're, you're talking to Louisa. Talking to, right, okay. I'm afraid for your chance to <laughs> file line of a collie. Before he loses, you should really talk. <laughs> but I don't know anything. I don't know anything at all. Um, let's, let's protect the bishop with the knight. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh. Uh, you're sure? And I thought you cared for the girl. Very well, then. Wolf retaliated fast. Her bishop took mine. The count the goes count against you. Shit, goes sorry. Against you. you fucker! The count goes served. against you. Jump the knight on left on the left there. Mm-hmm. Bam. Let's do that. Okay. I hope you have a plan, Hart Smith. She played my move, then replied. White's back line was clear enough to castle. Wolf bought her rook into play. I'm a frau no hey, I'm tying my frau line. Louisa demanded. Oh, I will never tell you anything. The Fraulein considered this. All right, you can watch your champion fail. Pulling a knife from her belt, Wolf slit the ropes around Louisa's wrists. Then she let down, hovering the knife point in Louisa's face. But no talking. She's brought her rook into play. We should Ooh, do the same. Oh yeah, bring out my rook. Or maybe we just <laughs> go straight to the queen. No, we go rook next. We're not going to bring out the big guns yet. No, 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 no. Uh, I would use this one. Rubbing her wrists, Louisa approached the board. Her face quickly became a picture of horror. I know. The Fraulein enthused. He's simply useless, isn't he? Her knight took mine. My piece clattered away across the floor as she knocked it aside. <gasps> How? It was... What an exciting oh. chess game! Fuck! It was too generous of the Swiss, this gift of theirs. Don't you think? <sighs> Sorry, uh, Wolf remarked. They left it undefended, but it's well built, excellently positioned. Your left flank is exposed, by the way. Let's get the queen, queen out. My queen! Oh. I like that. She can go here. Louisa nodded slightly. It must have been a good move. The Fraulein merely glanced down before playing again. She developed another paw. Louisa clicked her tongue, but then, almost too quickly to notice, she held up her little finger wiggled it and looked sharply Ooh. away. A moment later, <gasps> she did it again. This is like that episode of You Want to Be a Millionaire with the coughing, but with a little finger Little finger means instead. porn, right? Little tiny little boy. Little little tiny little gun. Yeah, little, little one. finger? Yeah, little finger. Little game Advanced of thrones. Advanced the queen's porn. Which porn? This one? All right. Louisa was flashing me a sudden, unexpected smile. The Fraulein thought for a moment. Her bishop retreated. Louisa frowned. Then she quickly held up two fingers crossed. Got two fingers crossed. Someone is jumping over another one. So, what's the options? Uh, a knight, bishop. I think it's jump the knight because it's like something crossing over, isn't it? Oh no, it's got to be like um the cross, right? Like the the. Oh. It's got to be like the sign of the cross. Bishop, bishop, chatter shouting, bishop. Yeah, the holy one, who the bishop. The Fraulein played the move for me. Very gently, Louisa nodded. Yes! She's going to do it for us! Yes! Wolf was intent on the board now, and she had taken her eyes off Louisa entirely. Carefully, silently, the Italian woman had lifted the little Mauser from where the Fraulein had put it down. (gasps) The Fraulein nodded firmly. Her rook advanced. You might be wondering what a good base in the Alps is. Wolf rolled a captured piece between her fingers. You see, it's a good place for a back door. She pointed down significantly. Um, I don't want to play, do uh, I? I'll just, I just say remarkable. remarkable. We haven't got Louise's advice. Oh, oh shit. We are, uh, we are going to blow a tunnel, Smith. Isn't that marvellous? A tunnel all the way to Zurich. Then we'll pour down into Switzerland by the tens of thousands. We'll capture the castle, so to speak. Eyes screwed shut. Louisa swung as hard as she could. Ooh. It was glorious. The oh. Mauser oh. butt connected with Wolf's mm. skull with a sickening crack. The frail line was knocked sprawling across the board. The chair <laughs> upended. Pieces scattered in all directions. That's a papa. Louisa hissed. Black queen takes white queen. <laughs> I remarked. Uh, <laughs> I gotta do the badass. Good shot. What's your follow through? That's right. Stiff up a lip. Keep your back straight. That's right. <laughs> hold, your, hold your tits in. Don't let them all escape loose. That's right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Black I think the, yeah, the third White. one. That's more like. Um. um uh, uh, wait, who's speaking? Uh, time for the Black Knight to get the moving. I think. Frisking the prone frail line, mm -hmm. Louisa located Ooh. her knife and sliced me loose. Gone was the distracted girl I'd rescued in Bellizona. She was rescuing me now. A moment later, we were out the door. I took the White Queen with me as we ran. For old times' sake, Aubrey. For God's sake, Aubrey. Damn her eyes. We, we, Ooh, yeah. we done it. So Louisa's done a it. badass. See, I was back in the right horse. That was that was all right. I enjoyed that. I didn't. That was. I didn't think that was too bad. I was enjoying that. My little Louisa um, badass. What are you guys chatting about in chat? Is Badger there? Do you know Badger? I know Badger. Hello, Badger. He's there. He's, he's a good lad. Why are they atting Hobo with two shotguns? What is that? I think they're saying hello. Oh. I think that's what that is, Lewis. <laughs> just just saying hello. Is that just saying? Just hello. <laughs> just saying hello. Just saying hello. <laughs> is that a, damn is that her apple in chat? tits? I don't see him chatting. Oh, there he is. There we go. Hobo with two shotguns. Hello. Good name. Uh, damn, damn her eyes. I've got any. <laughs> thing to read before I carry on otherwise I'm gonna get distracted Find those thingies, did again you? those um, um donations I didn't we'll do them next week thank you so much if you donated last week cream cups says cream cups. have you guys watched the trailer for dark nights with Poe and Monroe it's the prequel we, to the shape-shifting detective it comes out on the 19th yeah we're gonna play it then I think yeah we so were just talking the week about after it next I, it's next week, isn't it? Isn't it out next week? Wait, well, what date is it today? It's out on the 9th, 7th today. Oh, so, right, okay. So a couple of weeks' time. A couple of weeks we'll play it. So not... What's it? We'll do it on the 21st. Not, yeah, we'll do it on the 21st. Perfect. All right. Uh, Rossibo says, Hey, Lewis and Lydia, usually resigned to a VOD goblin for these streams, but happy to catch one live. Love you lots. Thank you very much, Rossibo. Shout out. Thank you, Rossibo. Thank you, you. My dude, much appreciated. Uh, Major JWAM says... Need more 100% authentic Italian accents from Lewis and questionable Eastern European slash Russian <laughs> slash Polish accents from Lydia, please. We Thank are happy you. to deliver. Nailed it. <laughs> uh, and also Ninja427 says, thanks for streaming today, guys. I'm getting frustrated working from home and your stream is giving me something to listen to. Aww. Keep up the good work and stay safe, everyone. Thanks. That's good Thank sentiment, you. dude. Much appreciate. I hope everyone is doing all right yeah. out there. I hope everyone's doing During okay. During these awkward, weird times. Me and Duncan played um, the a miniatures game, the uh, Game oh, yeah. of Thrones miniatures game on Tabletop Sim yesterday. Because we were going to play it in real life. Because he's been painting up his models and I've got some of mine done now. Yeah. Um, and so we were going to play. But instead we were like, let's just fucking do it on Tabletop. And it was kind of a bit... It wasn't the same, but... Yeah. Um, is that, how how was it? Was that the one that goes on for like six hours? Is it really long? Yeah, it took I us. Think like, I know the, it doesn't, the one you It's not mean. supposed to take that long. It took. It did take us about six hours. But halfway through, I went and made um, dinner, and then halfway through that, uh, so we had two breaks. So he w walked. He walked Sammy oh, <laughs> in one yeah, break, yeah, and yeah. I went and made dinner. So we played it over the course of the whole day. Yeah. Um, but no, it was it was it was it's a good idea. Good fun. Yeah, good fun. Who, who were you? What house were you? I'm, I was playing House uh, Baratheon. I was playing... Ooh. I had Renly, I had Brienne. Nice, uh, nice. And I had Loras, Loras Tyrell, and I also had Tyrell, and I had Marjorie as my... Oh, um, bit schema. on the side. And I also had... Um, who did I have? I think I had El Elden Estamont, who's not really a character in the in the TV show. Yeah, I, I don't recognise him. No, because it's all based on like the book book they've got the book license rather than the Ooh. movie license so it's called like song of ice and fire miniatures it's not called game of thrones yeah miniatures um and they've all got like different faces it's weird it's quite a good little mini miniatures game it's like it's quite they've got a few things so did yeah. you win or did duncan, duncan won ah. um he beat me he absolutely crushed me actually he's playing starks he had rob stark sansa um dire he had he had Grey, Grey Wind, the dire wolf. That was okay, yeah, yeah. Constantly harassing me. Aww. Um, and who do you have? Some bowmen? He had some weird stuff. I just had some sort of, I had some um, of Renly's uh, Rose rose Knights and some Stag Knights. It was terrible. I, was t I had a you terrible army. Fucked I, up, basically. I got crushed. I, I marched up the middle. He had some berserkers that just charged into me and just, just destroyed my Renly's unit straight away. 
Aww. They just died. And then... Aww. um Rip. Yeah, Tom's playing Wildlings. Uh, Ben's doing Lannisters. Alex is doing Starks as well. But there's enough to, like, go around. Mm. Um, yeah, we, we, we're looking forward to playing it when we get back. It's, it's honestly rekindled my Game of Thrones joy. Because it was such... So I, I really enjoyed Game of Thrones for like the first, and everyone did, right? For the first like four or five seasons or six seasons, however many it was that before it got bad. Yeah. And then every, it's kind of like left this terrible taste in everyone's mouth, you know? Like those last two seasons of Game of Thrones are so bad. And everyone's really feels like, ah, like, ah. Like, it, it's, it is crazy how much they fucked up the last season and now no one talks about Game of Thrones anymore. It was like the biggest TV show ever mm. and then they did such a bad job with the last season. It's like everyone just forgot about it. That's how badly they dropped the ball. They just fucked it. <laughs> they absolutely just could not have ended it worse. It was just such a fuck up. But I mean, if you liked Game of Thrones, there's actually um, you can there's actually a reading guide to read the chapters in a slightly better order. Um, to make it make more sense. Because the last two books, like Dance with Dragons and um, Feast for Crows, they weren't, like, um, they weren't, like, ordered very well. And mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. does involve skipping a few chapters, yeah, if you don't like certain things. Hobo with your oh, really? Well. But some of them were a bit of a slog. Some, yeah. some of the characters are just not particularly interesting. But some of the some of the books are really good. Has he got one more to go? I think he, he, yeah, it's like Wind, Winds of Winter, isn't it? Is that out? Um, he's been really, he's been writing the last one for like seven years or something, hasn't he? Yeah. Or is that? I don't know. Winds I haven't. I've only winter. read the first one. I need to need to read the other ones. It's a sick Two one. Two books left. Okay. Yeah, I think he said he was going to make it into two parts. He's written a lot of it. Hmm. Um. But he's just Winds of, of Winter and Dreams of Spring. Yeah. I want to see how he ends it. That's that's going to be... I mean, I know because he spoke... Obviously, like, he was a part of the ending of the TV series, but he's going to do it better, <laughs> I imagine. A lot, the problem is a lot of the... Because a lot of the TV show was so... It's like halfway through a story, right? And so they just had to just... They kind of just didn't think up a way to like they didn't have a plan to like sew up mm. a, so many characters arcs you know like it felt yeah. like so many arcs just like were like ah do you know what fuck it you just have to kill him sorry um yeah or like just completely undo everything they did like jamie they were they did all this stuff about his redemption and they were like ah fuck it actually <laughs> so, just so in, in the well the, i'm not gonna do any spoilers i don't want to do spoilers, oh whoops but, but ignore that ignore what i just there's, said there's, there's, well, no, in the books, there's characters in the books who aren't in the the the, the movies uh, in the in the TV shows, but but they dramatically sort of change. If if those characters had been in the TV show, they would have really shaken up the options for what the TV show mm. could have done. Mm-hmm. Um, so by by eliminating characters like Young Griff from the TV show, they've they wrote themselves into a bit of a corner because there was no way right. out of some of these problems. Right, okay, because um, they needed those characters to actually, like, f- tie up some of the storylines. It's wild that it's going to be so... What's the next big thing going to be as well? I don't know. Is anything going to... Like, that, like, Game of Thrones was fucking massive. Like, what... Is it... You're like... Is it been the biggest show? Oh, HBO. It gave them, like, like... It gave them, like, millions of, like millions of subscribers to hbo it's the biggest yeah. show ever it's huge like the 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 hype the like you know like it was just gigantic i don't i don't think there's anything that's come close to chernobyl it chernobyl got pretty big chernobyl had a lot of hype didn't it um, it had but still like i don't think anyone but it wasn't it wasn't was yeah um, like i think i think if chernobyl had been six seasons and had that time to build up because the first season of game of thrones on hbo wasn't it wasn't super big at the time. No, but no, then that's true. It did. It was big enough, but it didn't. It didn't go to like zero to sixty in like. It didn't ramp up that fast. When Expanse did it get was big? Great. Was it like season three Expanse or four is great. or something? Yeah, I like the Expanse, Catchan Man. Um, Wheel of Time. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe it'll be like um, the Boys is good. Chernobyl's good. The boys, yeah, the boys was big. That that season one was good. Maybe it'll be like people are saying his dark materials, but they've tried to 
make a TV show of that and a, and a fucking... Mm. The Witcher isn't the next Game of Thrones. The Witcher's too, too, too kind of, too kind of like, chill. It's not... Yeah. It's too kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit wacky, um, isn't it? And a little yeah, bit episodic. yeah, I enjoyed it. It's I not really it, got, like, yeah. an overarching thing with enough characters, and it's not political enough. Witcher is just, it's just a fun thing, The Witcher. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're as invested in the character. Like, with the Game of Thrones, like, you get so invested in the character, and then, you know, they're fucking killing them off, and it's like, I think that's why it was so exciting whereas I don't see them doing the same kind of thing with The Witcher it's not like you're going to be as invested in the characters I just don't know what books like because I mean Game of Thrones was this like really iconic book series that was like hanging I think maybe the next potential really good book series is uh, Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight Archive turning right. that into a TV show would be fucking brilliant I think that is my that is my tip actually I reckon well, you, that would well, be you, the next you've got to do it then bam <laughs> what, what is it I don't think I know what it is what is it Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight Archive it is the yeah. best the best thing he's written and he's a very good author oh. um, Red Rising might do it Red Rising's very good there's a Dune movie you've seen the Dune the Dune movie coming right it looks pretty cool I saw, oh. I saw a cast list sorry I'm getting really distracted anyway that would be it what, my Storm, Stormlight Archive that's what these streams are for. Just distracted. They're doing a Lord of the Rings Amazon show as well, which oh, right. hopefully that... won't suck complete balls. That has potential to be amazing. It can't be as bad as a Hobbit anyway. Oh, um, yeah. Sucked. Right. Let's, we're escaping from this Swiss bunker. We are. Video. Let's, okay. let's try and get through this game so we can play some girls. Yeah. <laughs> not that I'm <laughs> not enjoying it, but... We're not. I think we're close to the end. Let's get to the end. Um... It wasn't hard, so Scuttle quietly passed the guards without being spotted. <clears throat> the Germans seemed to run the place with a skeleton staff. Spooky, scary skeleton. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, oh. we reached the front chamber of the bunker. On the wall beside the outer door was a large metal lever labelled Achtung. Um, mm. Right, which means attention. It means or. Attention, warning. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are we going to do? Okay, so she'll be back on her feet soon. I said, looking back down the corridor, what are the other options? I threw it, uh, or I started for the stash of dynamite I'd seen by the door. Whoa, Maybe we that. don't want to do that. We want to just... No? Oh, wait, we can start an avalanche. We don't want that, do we? <laughs> don't want to get buried. I don't think we want to... I don't think we want to... I don't think we want to pick up dynamite and start doing stuff with it. That seems madness. That, okay, I think the third one. See if Louisa has any ideas. She's much smarter than us. She'll know. She will know. Then let's go. Music started. Louisa yeah. replied, throwing down the lever. The door began to rise, accompanied by an ear splitting grinding of gears that echoed around the walls. Then let's hear that. Louisa shouted. She was all ready to crawl under the half open gate. Let's go. Let's Let's -a go! <laughs> Let's -a go! Mmm. I took the Mauser oh, yeah. from Louisa and turned grimly to await the guards. I can't do that. Outrunning the armed guards and ice seemed impossible? Maybe. We do Maybe need something to the even the odds. Okay. It's dynamite. probably going to be dynamite. <laughs> I cast about the room and found a rack of rust bucket machines lined up Ooh. in a corner under a tarpaulin. <gasps> Louisa caught by a blank expression. Snowmobiles. She exclaimed. My, My uncle repairs them in his shop. Quick. I jumped I okay, I jumped aboard as she clambered on behind. Did that even work? Do you know how to drive one? How fast does a snowman will go? I it jumped aboard! Drive. Yes! And Louisa clambered on behind. She slid her arms around my waist as I turned the throttle. I felt her reach forward into my pocket. Hey oh. She was giving me the Mauser. Are you a keeper dad? Uh, we roared away from the bunker at a decent eight miles an hour. Ooh. Zero to eight in uh, uh, <laughs> <Two> one. <hours. laughs> uh, oh, one other thing, Aubrey. Tell control there was just enough dynamite by the gate and just enough time to leave the Fraulein. A little parting gift. Ooh. Proper 
Don't worry, she'll be back, chat. Yeah, she's not dead. They she never gave die. Us, uh, she gave us a, a mauser. <laughs> she put the mauser in her trousers. <laughs> she grabbed the mauser in our trousers. Look at us. Zoom, zoom. Do, 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 do. The man, uh, Scott, the man. The sky, the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, the, the sun was high in the sky. It seared, <laughs> spelled wrong, down through ice clear air turning the glacier to a blinding lake of light and we were chuffing along and we were chuffing along on a machine made of biscuit tins and rubber piping uh, for a while we wove a path avoiding shrapnel and rock shards or the time the time machine the machine we were riding was a little right, better <laughs> than a groundsman's lawnmower well time machine i think the second one yeah let's yeah a, let's dodge let's be positive but then we were through and out Onto the open ice. Um, what are we do? My eyes are on the man's head, looking for pass and passes. Having fun? <laughs> How much further? <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> Jerry Sweets back there. <laughs> and he wears his originals. Having fun? I yeah. shouted. I have been on some other dates. Oh, we're on a date? But the view makes up for it. Then I felt Louisa stiffen. Then I stiffened. <laughs> there's someone coming after us. Oh, there's someone coming after us. Sir. On a snowmobile, I asked. If only they were... Sorry. If they... Sorry. If they were <laughs> driving, they'd be no faster than us. Skis. Skis? Can skis go faster? Than, I think they can. Yeah. Do 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 do. do we were, we were running out of glacier. Aubrey, you bloody dab your eyes. I <laughs> swerved <laughs> us <laughs> to a halt on the southern edge of the valley. We clambered bandy-legged from the machine. A mountain towered above us. Um, the egg is on, Louisa said. There's a cable car just just behind the peak. They installed the lines last year, apparently. We can ride it down into the valley on the other side. Excellent. Uh, what would we like to do? What's on the other side? Uh, the cable cars are a fairly visible way to travel. But I didn't, I didn't need to ask. I think questions. we should use the cable car. I don't know how else we're going to get over this, through this. Let's do it. Let's do it. She knows stuff. Honestly, Aubrey... Damn her eyes. <laughs> that girl. I was beginning to wonder if she wasn't the best partner in the field an agent could have. Aww. Cast a look behind at the swooping dark figure. Behind was closing on us fast. <laughs> Bandy legged means when you uh, have been riding a horse, you get like kind of like a bow legged. Like it's, John it's Wayne. Like, it's like um, Lelly, jelly legs. Lily legs. Yeah, you walk like you've just gotten off a horse. It's weird. It's a weird expression. When you get nailed real hard. <laughs> you get absolutely <laughs> ruined. <laughs> I guess it's like leg day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bam. All right. Let's head All right, towards Eggishorn. Eggishorn! We decided to hike around the peak. What? No, we didn't. I thought we got the thingy. Oh, maybe, maybe we didn't get the cable car. Okay. That's weird. Hmm. The hike around the Eggis Horn, <laughs> or the Eggy Shorn, was Eggishorn. gentle enough. Pleasant if it weren't for the dark figure on the glacier below. We passed a small lake fed by a trickling stream from above. Louisa paused to rinse off the cloths of earth and stones that were stuck to the heels of her boots. Oh, what made you come for me? You might have died, said Louisa. Are the designs for that radio transmitter worth risking your life for? The question was uncomfortable, but fair. Um... <laughs> to hell with <laughs> yes, that bally radio transmitter! Yes, Kiss me, one. woman! I came for you, Louisa. This was all for you. Or... Yes. The first one! The first one! For God's sake, let's get some romance! You can leave that bit out of your next report, Aubrey. Ooh. It's what I said. You're worth something. To your father and to me. 
I continued. And I won't go to all the trouble of rescuing someone only to have them spirited away again before they're safe. She nodded. Thank you. It was brave. As we neared the ridge top, Louise stopped to catch her breath and look back down. Oh, she's gone, I think. But no, I could see her. Instead of going around as we had done, the Fraulein was hiking directly up the Eggershorn itself. From this distance, her stride seemed impossibly fast. Hmm. Mm. Why is she going up there? We're down here. She'll be exhausted by the time she gets up there, or she's lost out. Maybe the middle one? Hmm. No, but maybe she just has to cut us off at the cable car. Hmm. She's lost our trail, though. Oh. Oh, she has. Louisa shook her head. The cable, the cable car. <gasps> she's a car. She's going to come down on the cable car and get ahead of us. She's trying to cut us off. I don't. We were supposed to get the bloody cable car. She's going to chase us in a cable car. If she stands in our way, I'll knock her down. Oh. <sighs> She's taking a cable car there. She's helpless. Hmm. All right, you were you were Maybe spot the... on about this. Which one shall we pick now? Maybe we should mm. be violent. I think the violent one. Fuck the bitch. They have guns in that bunker. Louise replied quietly. Loads of them. How many she gonna have? So what <laughs> if she has like ten guns? Got ten How is ten guns. guns any worse than one gun? <laughs> What's she gonna do? Fucking fire pew, them pew, with pew, her pew, pew. nostrils! <laughs> it's a nice day. I go Sean. Cable car. Pew. Oh, it's a nice little ski village. Get a ski pass, get a day pass, just go up the Get a hot cocoa. Go up, go up. Oh, Lydia, that sounds good. And that does sound nice, doesn't it? Uh, this is the cable car here, right? Fraulein's cable car floated down the mountainside like a menacing spectre. I could imagine her inside, pacing her cage. But we reached the interchange station before she landed. We raced for the second station in the next car, or we sabotaged her approach. Mm. If, we get, if she gets stuck in a fucking cable car, that would be great, right? No, I mean, yeah, that would be very useful. But then again, how much, how long is she going to be stuck there? An mm. hour? Like, less? Do we sabotage? Or what's the second one? We race for the second station and the next car. Do we get in the car? Or do we sabotage? As long as we're ahead, it doesn't matter. If we sabotage or struggle with sabotage, if we get in trouble with the police or something. Yeah, I think maybe just carry on. If, as long Go. as we're ahead, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, yeah. We race for the second station and the next car. We were still in the lead. Maybe we could put some distance between us at Fish. 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 Da, da, da. Oh. Yeah, I don't know about sabotaging cable cars. Oh, is this the one we're on now? So we That's just us, so they it? came down. She came down here, and we went up there. <gasps> here we go! Exciting music. The second cable car gently swayed us down the mountainside. It was like being in a floating cradle. This section of the line had only the one car, doing the full round trip. So the slower it went, the better. Um, we can we can have a little chat. She looked like she was limping. Mm. Ooh, so she's been injured. How Ask her how she's holding up. up. Then yawn and Be put your arm up. around her. <sighs> um, how are you holding up? I asked. Louisa shrugged. Oh, I suppose. I haven't stopped to find out. We sat in silence. I could mention the limp. She looked like she was limping. After hiking up at that mountain? I should think so. Big moves. Suddenly, Louisa yelped and pressed her face to the glass. Shadow belly! What is that? I looked down. Splashes of colour. A chessboard in a rainbow hue. Blues, reds, greens, whites. It was as though someone had spread out a woolen quilt over the valley floor. Mm. Uh, what is that? Perhaps it's some sort of festival? <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. Uh, join her, just, yeah, carry, carry out a little peek as well. We're still too high up. Whatever the shapes were, there were people milling around them, working by the looks of them. Mm. I'll leave it here for now, Aubrey, to give you a chance to solve this puzzle. Can you guess the delightful surprise that was waiting for us at the bottom of that cable line? 
What? Can you guess, chat? What is the delightful puzzle? What would it be? Like a, a ski a ski festival? Yeah, is it? I've got no bloody got no bloody clue. My 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 art. What? Little Old backache. Little party. Another chessboard. More chess. More chess. Christmas An elaborate. Markets. Oktoberfest. A nice a nice picnic. Uh, Minecraft jumping puzzle. <laughs> Ooh, twister. Right. <laughs> sure. Her papa. Oh, papa. Papa fish. Hot air oh, balloons. Hot air balloons. That they were well, inflating. Nope. None of no us got one it right. Got it. Get in that balloon. Balloons. Hot air balloons, to be precise, Aubrey. Damn your eyes. We had somehow <laughs> stumbled into the middle of the Feisch Festival of hot air balloonery. It wasn't a moment to lose, Aubrey. Oh, Aubrey. It wasn't a moment to lose, Aubrey. We raced around the track from the cable car station and hopped a fence into a field where the first of the balloons was laid out. The burner was on and the balloon was starting to fill. We approached its owner. He was sitting on the grass beside the basket smoking a pipe. There was no time for a discussion with the man. I pulled out the gun. Or, quickly man, we're escaping from Nazis. Or, I'll pay you 100 francs for this balloon. Or, one sharp blow to the back of the head was enough to set him the grass. Maybe just give him some money. I don't just reckon we could bribe him. I don't reckon 100 francs is enough for a balloon. No? He'll be like, oh, no, sir, I'd like to haggle with you of uh, 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 200 francs. I think it's like, quickly, mm. we need a balloon right now. Okay, all right. I reckon we gun it. Okay. I don't reckon we can talk his way. Quickly, man, we're escaping from Nazis. He's not going to go with you that. You know, he might, he might be pro-Nazi. We don't know if that's going to work. Shall we try 100 francs for this balloon? I'll pay you 100 francs for this balloon. Okay. Do you reckon that's going to work? I don't know. I don't know. Now you've made me unsure of myself. I don't know either. Maybe... Maybe we do get the gun out. No one can say no to a gun. Yeah, but we don't... You know, he might have guns. They all might have guns. <laughs> he might shoot us back. Quickly, man. But do you know what... Do we don't want to be waving guns around with balloons. Balloons and guns don't mix. Do you know what I mean? That's true. That's true. He might scream. Think... That's right, just, pay that's him just off. Suck. Pay him off. I'll pay you 100 francs for this balloon. The man sucked his pipe. You English tourists. You think you can turn up to the festival without a balloon and just bow with his ears? <laughs> now shut up, yes, man. There was the gun. There was no time. There was quickly, man. We're, but we're escaping from Nazis. Come on now, no. it's important. Get the gun out, the gun. Gun, gun. Listen up. Oh shit. Oh, Louisa knocked it out of my hand and it flew out of sight. Shit, we lost the gun. Oh, you stupid cow. No. She almost wailed at me. You put the hole in the balloon. The balloonist himself was on his feet now. Who are you? What do you want? Louisa. One sharp blow to the back of his head was enough to send him <laughs> to the grass. The man lolled forward. Blew. Louisa bent to catch him. She looked up to glare at me. Uh, Help. Okay. Help me get him into the basket. Why? To use him as ballast? Taking it with do you want him? to kidnap Bring him? him? With us. We didn't know how to fly a balloon. You want to kidnap him? Sure, she's thrown our gun away. Then she wants to take him with us. She's really fucking this up for us. Hmm. No, I want you to apologise to him when he wakes up for stealing his balloon. Arguing with oh, only slowed God. us down. I took the balloonist's legs. Louisa took his arms and we lumped him into the basket. I glanced back up at the mountainside. The empty cable car was almost back up the slope now. It would soon collect the Fraulein and bring her down to join us. She would have no qualms about putting a bullet in her heads or one in our balloon. And the mm. balloon was still inflating. Oh, shit. Uh, wonder if there's a way, to speed, there's a way to speed it up. Hmm. Yeah, a big fat Frenchman might help with the balloon's ballast as well. You know. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to speed this up. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Maybe we could. Yeah. Or do we just have to just be like. Maybe we should go and get the gun. Like, fuck me. Um, I know. I mean, it's only on the floor to the side. I'm sure we could just grab it before we get back in the balloon. I wonder if there's a way to speed this up. I think it's just see if... I mean, probably not. Oh, but... We might fuck it up. We might fuck the balloon. Set fire to it. Oh, right. Disaster. Yeah. That would be a nightmare. Fairline Wolf is in the cable car. 
I, um, I wish, I wish she'd... she'd give up. She won't, I replied. She doesn't like to lose. Hot air balloon orb is a magical thing. The ground below just gives up on you. Gravity lets go and the earth drifts away. First an inch, then a yard, and up. Up. An indulgent form of transport, a folly of follies. First fellow who tried this must have been brave or stupid. Cable car had reached the ground. I saw a limping figure emerge. She won't shoot the balloon. Mm. She'll risk l killing Louisa. Yeah. Maybe First just fellow the... who tried this must have been brave. It's like falling upwards into the sky. Are we free? Louisa cried out at the sky. Are we free? I put my arm around her waist to steady her, Aubrey, in case she leaned just too far over the edge of the basket. She even leant her back a little against me. Just for safety, you understand? We looked at the no. unconscious, fat, bloated <laughs> body of the Swiss man that we'd knocked out with the blow to the back of the head. We looked at his sweaty armpits and thought, wow, we're really free of her now. I'm <laughs> covered in fried bread. We are really free of her now. Free. Free. An egg. Is that us? Um, it's a little a tasty little egg flying off. An egg. Well, an egg, egg, a sweaty man, a hot Italian Mario lady, and us. A James Bond. <laughs> at the egg is horn. Oh, why are we a little egg? <laughs> it's the fire, apparently. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. But they've done sense. it wrong, because the burner's supposed to be mounted up there, isn't it? Mm. Uh, Blue-green with white peaks. The Alps spread like a frozen sea below us. The Aletsch glacier was a long stripe dotted with detritus from the bunker explosion. Louisa pointed out the observatory, winking like a jewel. Then the long curved valley of Ambry. Oh, Papa is all right. He's dead. He's, he's, yeah, he's Should I stick gone. to the lie? Um, yeah. He'll be in Zurich already, I'm sure. He's an incredibly annoying man. I found the best chocolatier in the city and be camping out there. Louisa smiled, then shook her head. I can't believe Papa came to Switzerland for me. I don't think he's even been outside of Italy before. It has been hard for him. He's an idiot. He's a fucking idiot. You're, You're very, very important, important to him. <laughs> she nodded. I'm his only daughter. You're as stupid as he is. We drifted <laughs> on, soaring oh, ever higher. Zelda's the air woken grew up. cold. Herr Gaspar awoke, blinking and dazed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, I must have hit my head climbing in, he said. <laughs> then he looked at us a little confused. You are the festival judges, I presume? <laughs> sure. That's, that's right, yes. Yeah. I'm afraid not, we're escaping from Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> I think lie, just lie. That's right. This is an excellent balloon, sir. Uh, she is. She is. Why are you Borat? <laughs> I'm a Borat. <laughs> she is excellent. He staggered to his feet, holding the edge of the basket for support. Well, uh, we seem to be doing well. Oh, yes, he said before oh, yeah. looking down over the edge. But we are much too high. The air will cool and we will lose altitude and crash. <laughs> I don't know what has happened. Uh, <laughs> he set to work on the burner and the vents, and the balloon gently lowered. Ah. Oh. There we go. There we go. So we did need him. I see. Said Louisa. This is why you must always respect engineers and not to knock them out. It's Swiss. It's like a mixture of French and German, Fav. Fucking, he's a Swiss man. I'm doing yeah. my best. Swiss Ooh, cheese man. More egg flight. I don't think we want to say that we're being chased. Why are we expecting this guy to be a Nazi sympathizer? Because it's, yeah, right at the start of World War II, people didn't know the Nazis were all that bad. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It, it would be like nowadays saying, I'm running from the conservatives. Do you know what I mean? They'd yeah, like, you might be like... What's wrong with well, the conservatives? Are they really I mean, that I, bad? I'd spit in your face, but, you know, some people might be like, get on board. What do you mean? I, if you were fleeing the conservatives, you could... <laughs> I'd, I'd show you. I'm fleeing Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Boris is after Boris, me. They Boris think you is after me. Insane. 
Um, oh, shit. You've checked she's not... Oh, this is Louisa. Oh, you have a chance she's not hanging onto the bars, bal bars, rogues. I've checked. She's not chasing us. Relax, Louisa. I, I wouldn't put it but past. It started past uh... I wouldn't either. She's not there. Um, I'm going to check myself. Uh oh. Before you wreck yourself, is she going to be dangling off? In before she is. <gasps> oh my god, she might be there. She be in on. <laughs> she might be there. Herr Gaspar leant out over the side and spat. <laughs> it hit the frow line in the face. <laughs> he watched the spittle fall, then nodded. A good northeast current. I will take us down. He's gone French. He's French and also a bit German. We drifted lower onto a current of air that grasped us and whisked us forwards so quickly that Gaspar's moustaches began to waffle in the wind. <laughs> I'm not going to have anything happen to you, Louisa. Yes. What did you tell them, Louisa? Did you tell them anything? Or no, we romanced. That's always my main goal in a game. Sweet, beautiful romance. <laughs> I didn't realise this was how you played games. Yeah, I didn't realise you were such a, a dramatically relationship focused being. I love I love like romance stuff in games. It's always like my favourite bit of a game. Oh my god, romance the moustache man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, threesome in the balloon. Oh, Pick that no. off the bucket list. <laughs> that would be that was not very it's not a very common achievement to get, is it that one? Bit roast in a balloon. <laughs> oh my god. There's not enough room. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it work. <laughs> oh my God, Lydia, please. Sorry. <laughs> the sun was touching the mountains to the west, spreading honey across snow-capped peaks. Um, you really do have a photographic memory, or you're studying engineering? Just little chat up lines. Yeah, just little chat. I kind of little believe little that she has a photographic memory, but I'm gonna say it anyway. She was quiet for a moment. I really do. Ever since I was little, Papa says I could write down whole words I'd seen before I even knew how to read. Interesting. And then Aubrey, damn her eyes, the mountains were suddenly quite <laughs> gone. Quite suddenly gone. Quite gone. Bloody they hell. They were. <laughs> Bloody we were hell. flying over the farmland and low country. I will set us down by the Zurich Sea, <laughs> Gaspar <laughs> said. Borat. There's a place I know beside the water. <laughs> a leg? Back legs. Louisa said. Cool. <laughs> cool chat. Cool. <laughs> romance, yes. <laughs> I love romance. Lydia's. <laughs> <laughs> romance. That's the genre, yeah. Uh, the balloon settled to the earth on a patch of empty land within spitting distance of the water's edge. It was a low, rocky outcrop jutting out into the lake. A cosy log cabin was built above it on stilts that rose from the reeds. This is my auntie's guest house, <laughs> Herr Gaspar said. You should stay here. She makes excellent fondue. Ooh, do you love a bit of fondue? Uh, or I, I thanked him or yeah. I simply nodded. Why not? Yeah, let's, let's stick around. Louisa kissed him on both cheeks out of gratitude, and mwah, and mwah. but probably also from sheer relief. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, your balloon is a beautiful... She gushed, and the man glowed with pride. Then we scrambled out of the bucket basket and all but fell onto <laughs> the grass. <laughs> the ground was very strange. Louisa examined. Once you've been a bird, Gaspar observed, pulling out his pipe to light it, why would you be anything else? <laughs> Have you ever been in a hot air balloon? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Have you? You don't think so? I feel like you remember. <laughs> it's quite an event. Well, um... I'm old. I've been around. I've been to I've a lot. Been I've done a lot of town. things. You know, I've done <laughs> a lot of stuff. I'm sure, I think if I've ever been in one, probably not. I would have I, remembered, right? I haven't. I think it would be absolutely terrifying. I have no intention of ever going in one either. Yeah, I think they're fairly. I, I think they're fairly dangerous. How many people die in balloon accidents? 
I, f I feel like it just seems a bit risky in a basket being blown up with air in a bloody balloon. I just think I don't want to risk it, you know? I just, I'd just i rather stay on the ground. Hot air balloons are an incredibly safe form of flight, apparently. They have really? become increasingly safe over time. Accidents are uncommon and fatalities very rare. Uh, between the year 2000 and 2016, only 21 people died hot air ballooning in the US. So about one I person mean, dies a year hot air ballooning in the US. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty, you know, good figures, I guess. But how many do it, though? And two people do it a year. Well, that's not helpful, though, is it? Actually, <laughs> lots, only, like, sh sure, just because just cause very few people died doing it doesn't mean that it was like, hmm, I don't know. It's not my cup of tea. I don't want to go in a helicopter. I don't want to go in a hot air balloon. I just don't. I just don't want to go in things that go high up. I don't even really like going in planes, <laughs> commercial airlines. Apparently, it's not very dangerous. Ooh. I started reading for some reason before I was trying to get to sleep, and I decided to read an article, like a, well, not even an article, it was a wiki page, all about the people who have died taking selfies. I don't know why I decided oh, to shit. do that, but now I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm scared now. God, I'm scared to take a selfie. <laughs> There's a lot of people that have died doing it. Nuclear weapons very safe, says Badger. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no one has died. No one's died very safe. <laughs> uh, recently, anyway. Between 2000 and 2016, no one died of nuclear weapons. Therefore, they're completely <laughs> very safe. safe. Very I safe. I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe. I don't, I don't think I'd. Um, yeah, I didn't sleep for a really long time. So <laughs> I always just read the stupidest things before bed. Perhaps if we were birds, Aubrey, we would see notions for the fictions. They really are, Aubrey. Oh, poetic poppycock. Oh, no, oh. no, we can't say that. Perhaps if we were birds, Aubrey, we would see notions for the fictions. Yeah. They really are. From the sky, we'd see only rivers and mountains, not borders and checkpoints. Perhaps one day people oh. will routinely fly about in balloons and airplanes, and the divisions between peoples will become a distant memory. Maybe one day there'll be a Eurozone. Um, and maybe one day uh, that'll be a f a f excellent. I went to find <laughs> Gaspar's aunt to talk to her about a room. Auntie Gaspar? Gaspar, I'm here for the fondue. I would like to have your fi a dish of your finest fondue, please. I don't think I've ever had fondue. I'd Ooh. love it. It just sounds like right up my alley. Milk it is. And cheese it and is some bread. Right up your alley. I'd love it. That's what I'm going to do when lockdown ends. Go so get some fondue. That is basically the way it sort of works is you can have two kinds. One is, well, mostly the way they'll do it is they'll melt cheese in like a, a burner on the table. Yeah. And you will spoon it out into your bowl and put stuff with it, right? Mm. Um, like you don't, you don't have to dip it anymore. I mean, usually fondues are like a communal pot that you'll cook and dip stuff in, right? But yeah, I, yeah. I think, like, it's not that high... Doesn't, it's never, like, the super most hygienic. Um, the ones I used to go to when I was in the Alps were, like, um, kind of more, like, Frenchy raclette places. I don't oh, know raclette's still do so good. I have raclette. Raclette's amazing. It's like a big wheel, and they have, no. like, these specially made heaters that they, like, run along the cheese wheel. And you have a bowl underneath and it melts the cheese into a bowl and you get yourself a bowl of cheese. You just eat it with like bread and potatoes. Oh, my God. That sounds, um, that sounds like just my dream come true. I'm literally looking up fondue on delivery. <laughs> I don't think they do it. I don't think you can. You, you kind of have to you can buy it'll, kits, it'll can't get you? cold. Yeah, maybe I'll buy a fondue kit. But honestly, I remember this fondue restaurants. You walk into them or raclette restaurants and the smell of cheese just fucking hits you in the face like so hard as you walk in there it's nuts yes, that, sounds, um, that sounds incredible i just love oh, yeah, it is cheese. basically just cholesterol a <laughs> in a fucking like a like a like the most cholesterol you'll ever have experienced this is very nice like, yeah cheese is just so cheese is like the naughty food so just eating melted it that for an entire meal Naughty Imagine food. how many. Oh, it's very naughty. Uh, what are we doing? Shall we have a quick break? I'm hungry now. My mouth's watering. Yeah, sure. I want to think about cheese. Thinking now. about cheese? Yeah, sure. I'm going to get a pack of crisps. I've got a vegan sausage roll I can eat um, in the break, so I might do that. 
Sweet. Go for it. All right. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back in five of your ordinary Finest minutes. Minute. Ooh. Uh, All right. Please, See you in five. Please enjoy these sponsored messages from the good people who uh, run commercials on <laughs> Twitch. Uh, probably Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, bam. Sweet. Commercial 300. That didn't work. Nope. Uh, it's commercial 300. It's a different code. There we go. I've done it. All right, BLB. Okay. All right, see you in a bit. See you. Uh, do I have a... I don't have a starting soon screen. I'll just leave it, I'll just leave it like this. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> I, can't, I can't just leave it like this. Uh, uh, I need to make a new thing. I could just go to a black screen. Oh, no, I could change this one. Hang on. You go, Lydia. Bye. She's gone. Uh, bye. Bye. All right. Hang on. I'll just quickly. Um, BRB tea break. Oh, I still don't have any fucking assets. I'm so sorry. Hello, right. everyone. We're back. How are you doing, Lydia? I'm good. I ate some crisps. How was your vegan sausage roll? Good. It was nice. I liked. I just saw Simon streaming. Did you see? Holy crap! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, but it's like secret stream. Like you can't see it in the stream um, team or anything. No. On the sideboard, it's like you have to go to the address. It's very sneaky. I didn't even know that was a thing you could do. I think he's just testing it, but he's playing mm. Animal Crossing. It is. He's built a, a pretty amazing island. Have you seen any yeah. of his stuff? Yeah, I was watching a bit this morning. His island's really nice. Obviously, Barry knows about it because he's got some assets. And... Well, apparently Barry's advice, because Simon wasn't like sure he could do it, and Barry's advice was, well, if Lydia can do it, then you can. So, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, which is fair, to be honest. I'm a fucking mess. <laughs> mm. uh, yours is very professional, Lydia. You've got, you're doing, you're doing good. Oh, thank you. I don't know about professional. Grandma but thank Lydia. You. Grandma Lydia at it again. <laughs> um, holy crap! We'll go watch that if you want, guys. This is vod. The vod's here. The vod will be. The vod. The vod will be on Yogg's live. I'm sure Simon's secret stream won't be anywhere. Um, you know, if you want to go watch it, go ahead. <laughs> then again, you can probably you could probably manage both, like Visity's doing. Uh. If Lydia can badger is still in chat. If Lydia can do it, you can. Is what I tell my dogs when they are learning new tricks. Amazing. Are you calling me an old dog, Badger? Um, <laughs> All right, that is that is that is slander. It's that's defamation like, of character. It's libelous, yeah. Yeah. You can't can't call Lydia a bitch. <laughs> He's, um, yeah, anymore. exactly. <laughs> anymore. An old. <laughs> That's it was a, a time. Ban right there. Fav <laughs> said, "I sent you the donation you missed last week. You didn't. Where did you email it to me, Fav? You have my email, right? Um, I'll check. I'll check. So you know what this game is reminding me of? Go on. Which I've been watching recently. I've been having a little bit of an Alfred Hitchcock fest. Twitch. Um." And it's reminding me of that kind of era. And I love it. I've, I love those movies. They, they fall in love so easily. Like I watched um, Vertigo and he's with this woman for approximately two seconds. And it's like, I love you, Louisa. I love you too. And then they do that old kiss, you know, where they like just smush their face together, but they don't actually move their lips. Like, like old Hollywood kiss. Do you know what I mean? I'm smushing my hands together to show it. And they just grab, um, yeah. mm, and they just they kind of just slowly mush their mm. face together, but there's no actual kissing. Yeah, there's it's no just, mm. no lips moving forward. It's more like oh, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, it's a very old Hollywood kiss, um, and it's got lots of James Stewart or whatever his name is. Where's Fav? Did you tweet it at me, or did you just put it on your own Twitter? Like, fucking, what are you doing, Fav? Fucking, fucking Fav. He's just got weird pictures on his foot. He's not helping at all. <laughs> oh, he DM'd me. That makes way more sense. Um, thank you. Uh, so last week we missed Donos from mm -hmm. uh, 
Forced to Reckon. Thank you very much. Bronze Bot. Dummy Kid. Damn BBC. I'm sure we read these. And Major Major J Wham. This is we've done. We done it. So we done. We read those Thank ones. There are people who donate today as well. They're watching today. Thank you, Fav. Thank you, Major J. Wham. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you, for everybody, support. for the support. Yeah, it's all it's all, it's all good. Um, what are you spending your twenty bucks on, Lydia? Oh, have you bought oh, anything well, in the lockdown? Some people are buying uh, loads of stuff and like ordering clothes and like like just shopping. I've been really bad. I am one of those people. Really? It's on, yeah, for me, that's like what's getting me through. Like I'll order something and then that's what I'm excited about. And then it arrives and it's, it really jazzes the day up. I bought a weighted blanket, bought a memory foam pillow. Wow, what are I they like? Bath bombs. Um, they're great. They're great. It's uh, It's like being in prison in bed, just absolutely weighed down, can't move. It's lovely. But it just feels safe and secure. In the um, memory foam. And the memory foam pillow's good. It's and nice. The, the bath, very... bath bomb's good. The bath bombs are relaxing. I had a lavender one last night, very soothing, before I read the article about people dying. That was nice. Um, what else have I of bought? Bath I bombs? Bought... Shit. Bath oh, bomb. yeah, the article of people dying. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I honestly, I just can't stop. I'm looking at trainers. I'm thinking about getting a new pair of trainers because why not, eh? Why not? I'm well, not going outside. You, but, but here's the problem. You can't buy trainers right online can you they're not never gonna fit right i I have such a pain in the ass finding shoes that fit me because i've got once one foot that's like a seven and a half and the other foot's like an eight and a half and it's like the most awkward because sometimes like i'll wear like a size seven and they'll be like far too tight and then eight will be like like fine but one foot is too tight and then i'll wear nine and then it's just like i'm wearing like big clown shoes it's like i have like (laughs) terrible you have such weird little feet. I have top, but also like you can like try like a size eight Vans or whatever, and it's yeah. like the same. It's like tighter than a size eight from any other shoe shop. Do you know what I mean? It's like okay, oh. so different different places have different. I need to find body. someone who's my foot buddy, like my foot my. Buddy. Well, I don't I don't want to start something here, Lewis, but I think we might have the same size feet. Oh my god! And do you yeah. buy the Jimmy Choo's the red? shiny jimmy chews as well the high-heeled ones <laughs> oh my Cause, god yes cause we i can't because we can swap <laughs> uh, that's actually louis vuitton get it right your soul mate beware the oh, chicken yes soulmate. sorry soul mate but no there was i saw that there was um a a guy like an amputee was who had like one who lost his left leg and he found a guy who'd lost his right leg and so they were able to like suddenly give each other like 20 yeah, different that's trainers oh, that's that were amazing. never used um yeah yeah which yeah. is really cool. <laughs> um, that's cool so that's that's like a cool combo but no i need someone who's like an eight and a half uh size foot so because i'm all or a seven and a half so then i can be you know then it will work what's out big foot, then what's my my big I'm, i don't know just you're one of those bigger a whole size bigger than the other one it feels like it yeah yeah yeah, yeah feels like it because i always like i always i always i always bump my toe on the end of my right shoe um your feet are like boobs i hate it my... one's bigger than the other one yeah well we're all weird i've got like everyone's got like slightly uneven everything you can't yeah. like <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> i'm like quasimodo <laughs> or balls yeah balls are always different sizes but that's like deliberate balls. That's because you're, if your balls were like the same, perfectly the same size, mm-hmm. they they would like, they would like, I don't know, it's never a thing. Like one of them is supposed to like, they're supposed to hang like, so they are like, um, so when you run, they don't like bang together like a set of grapes or whatever, or like, um, well, like, or like one of those desk toys. Start it going, yeah, and it never Yeah, the stopped. posh desk oh, toy. They're not supposed like, to be like that because that can cause problems. Uh, t- is that is that science right there? No. That they- it can't be the same size because they'll just keep banging back and forth. Is that science? I don't know. Is that true? That could be bollocks. I think that's bollocks, literally. Uh, all right. Anyway, there was uh, a little jetty in front of this Swiss cavern. Cabin. Mm. Cavern. We were sitting together looking out over the water. Stars filled the sky and flooded the surface of the water. Um... Louisa had her arms hugged around her knees. She told me she would kill me. Good Lord. Um, I could either say nothing or 
Uh, I, I said nothing. Just, just sat, sat by, by her side. Yeah. She kept... Oh, go on. Uh, she kept trying to scare me. There were things she said she would do to me. <gasps> what kind of things? But what could I tell her? She wouldn't have understood what made this transmitter special anyway. Hmm. I tried to tell her she had it wrong, that it was all a mistake. But she just kept threatening me and asking the same questions over and over, like a machine. Hmm. Maybe she was a machine. <gasps> Maybe she was the Terminator. Maybe that will be the twist in this. Because video. she was climbing that mountain, <laughs> like the Terminator. Yes, yeah, I am a Nazi it. Terminator. <laughs> the worst kind of Terminator, no. <laughs> Shit, the Terminator. Uh, you've got to be careful, actually, because Arnold's, Arnold's voice is a little bit Austrian, isn't it? Do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, isn't that, isn't that where he's from? He's from Austria. Yeah, he's he's got that sort of slight German accent. Get to oh. the chopper. Yeah. Get to the balloon. Get, <laughs> get, to, get the balloon. to the balloon. <laughs> oh, I can't, um. Uh, okay, so what shall we say? Uh, don't worry. Uh, it's all right, you're free don't now. Worry, Louisa. Oh, I think the second one. You're free, you're free, you're now. free now, like a bird. Am I so? She didn't seem as though she would ever give up. Her words drifted across the lake and disappeared. I'm cold, Smith. Call oh, me here. Yeah. Call me here, love. Oh, well. I'll keep you warm. Oh, Here's oh. this gravity blanket, it'll squash you. Gravity blanket. <laughs> What's it called? Weighted blanket. Weighted blanket. It's gravity blanket. It floats. It's incredible. Well, there is an option for a blanket. No, Take we blanket. no no. You what? hold her close. Hold her close. Oh, well, Lydia. Oh yeah. Um. Oh yeah. Here we go. Uh oh. She turned to glare at me with hot, angry eyes. Tell me something, Smith. What do you say? You are a good man. A a man of honour. Not really, no. <laughs> I would say so, yes. Uh... Say yes, yes, for Christ's sake. <laughs> then are you behold me. <laughs> oh no. So I held her and she cried. Then when she had finished crying, we just sat there and looked up at the stars. Thank you. She whispered. She just needed me to say Aww. I was a, a nice guy. Cool. She needed an R slash nice guy. Slash nice she needed guy. someone to m'lady her. Tip, 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 tip. Do you want this blanket, m'lady? Tip, 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 tip. I'll keep you warm. Tip, 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 tip. Oh, it worked because it is actually bullshit. It's a bullshit. It worked. It worked. Poor girl. Um, Rip. War tip, 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 tip. War tip to be over by Christmas. Um, she needed... Oh, my God. As, Brit as British warplanes bomb German naval targets, some experts predict a swift end to the German aggression on the continent. We'll set those bloody boys packing. It <laughs> expected that the conflict on the scale of the years long. Great war may be avoided through decisive and rapid military action. As we all know, that didn't fucking happen. Nope. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Aged like milk. Friend zoned achievement, Fav. Nice. <laughs> Herr Gasper's aunt Helga had a car that had once belonged to her husband. She was happy for us to use it. Aunt Helga clasped our hands in turn as we left. Oh, newlyweds! She sniffed her eyes moist. Oh, in such dark and difficult days. It's not even dark and difficult yet. The war's not even kicked off. <laughs> You're in for a treat, love. She waved a handkerchief as we drove away. Oh. It was early morning. Still dark. Louisa twisted in her seat to wave back until we were out of sight. I think we fooled her. She concluded. Yes, we were very convincing. I smiled back. In that moment, I felt like a bit of a cad. Having knocked her nephew out cold. Oh. <laughs> well, we, you know. Well, it worked in the end, didn't it? A little bit of brain damage, but other than that. Yeah. This is nice, isn't it? Did I wish I was here right now. Did we borrow the... I wish I was here right now. I am here right now. Oh, here. You are? 
We're here, right we now. We are here right now. We're in Zurich. Oh shit, is this it? Is this the last bit? It's close to the, to mm. the end. Rainfall. So that sounds like a that sounds like a James Bond movie title. What's Let the new the James Rhine Bond? Fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the next James Bond movie called? Does anyone know? No, it's and who is James Bond? With, isn't it the last one with Daniel Craig? No time to die. That's right. No time to die. No time to die, Bond. <laughs> Fucking hell, Bond. Bond. Get up off your feet. I bet you they're going to say that. It's no time to die, Bond. <laughs> Now you should get your ass up and kill the baddies. That's right. Yeah, bang and that seduce that lady. <laughs> bang that one and seduce that one and get the information and open the safe and get the golden <laughs> statue of the fucking Maltese Falcon and <laughs> stop fannying around and shoot that man. <laughs> I want to watch all the um, James Bonds through, but they're not on any streaming service. It's really annoying. Simon's got them all, I think, on something, DVD. I'm never dare. Yeah, Ask I was thinking him. about just buying them because, yeah, I really want, I want, there's so many I haven't seen. I'd He'll love probably to just lend you them. I think he's it. probably got them all. I think he's got them all on DVD or something. He's got them all on something. Yeah. Maybe something, he's got something. them all on Apple. Yeah, yes. He might have them all on Apple, iTunes or some shit. That'd be good. Yeah. Uh, some of them are just garbage, though, Lydia. Yeah. Um, I want to see them all, though, shit or not. Uh, this is the road to Zurich. Louisa remarked. Have you been? It's a rather dour place, I think. I'm sure this is where you want to go. It's only a couple of miles. Only a couple of miles, love. Have you been? Oh, well, no, we can't say that. There's no preconceptions. It's only a couple of miles. Oh, yeah, of course. You, she knows. Uh, you don't have to tell me that. Oh, she grinned. <laughs> there was a map in the cabin. Aubrey, I shall miss this curious girl and her Marvelous mind and, pff, and those <laughs> cracking, <laughs> wonderful, wibbling pair of blamanges. <laughs> wibbling, <laughs> quivering blamanges. <laughs> Damn her eyes. Damn her eyes. Zurich. Found myself driving slowly. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I wanted to spend Aww. every last second with Louisa that I could, or Aww. perhaps I was still on the lookout for a possible attack, or I was not relishing a dressing down from control, amongst other things. We were relishing it, our love. Hmm. Right. Relish it. Like a... Just spend yeah. every delicious moment mm, of delicious relish with relish. her. Like pickle. Nom, nom. On a cheesy a fondue. Bah. Getting a, a raclette of melted cheese and oh, spreading yes. some pickle on it. Yes! <laughs> Talk cheesy to me! <laughs> uh, our work offers us plenty of excitement, plenty of comfort and discomfort, but so little of the wonder and awe that just a few moments of Louise's company gave me. <laughs> you must think me a stripling to talk like this, but I am no ancient oak. But Louisa's journey was at an end. She was eager to reach Zurich, and I could talk of little but seeing her father. I hope he's not too sore. <laughs> I've got on Matt Berry. I hope, I hope he's not too sore. He'll have been well enough to take the train to Zurich, won't he? Oh, God, this is the lie coming I out. I hope not. We'll know soon enough. I'm just oh, yes. Money. And they have good doctors in Switzerland. Uh, and bad ones too. I thought of Schweiger as weeping atop the Jungfrau Jock. <laughs> the fact was that we were already there. We were passing through the suburbs of Zurich, built up along the lakefront. <laughs> the scent of flowers and horse dung was fading away into the fumes of cars and coffee. What's happening? From that was the a Alps, good that was good. We had emerged back into what some call civilization. <laughs> but I don't know what to call it anymore. Europe is at war. I'm going to stop doing this stupid voice. <laughs> Europe's at war. Do you like Toast of London? Yes, Toast. It's oh. so good. So good. It's just the perfect oh. thing for Matt Berry, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's so good. I'm, I'm going to watch it again. It's so funny. Are you just going to watch fucking everything? you got to watch every James Bond movie. you got to watch oh. all the Toast of London. What are you doing? I've got, uh, <laughs> it's, 
It's it's called. Um, it's gonna slob out under your fucking gravity so blanket care. with all surrounded Amazon packages. <laughs> Like fucking with like seventeen cats crawling all over you, like eating a cheese off of a wheel, or like just melting it directly into your veins, Lydia. What kind of dreamland are you cheese, living I, in? I show up cheese. Don't shame me for how I self care. <laughs> self care. Jesus, sit there in your like dirty pants, like stained with cheese what? grease, <laughs> You're, like drooling as you watch like the sixth James Bond movie of the day. Oh, that Daniel Craig, he had nothing on uh, Piers Brosnan. Piers Morgan. <laughs> God, I forgot his name for a second there. Oh, my God. That honestly sounds like heaven. This may, You may be trying to burn me, but honestly, it just makes me stronger. I, I love the sound of that. It sounds incredible. That's how we're going to find you in, like, yeah. in the apocalypse. We're going to go into, like, <laughs> it's like a fallout house. We go in there and you're in there. And it's like, <laughs> it's just like you and 20 cat skeletons are like, oh, no! just well, like really lying in front of the TV, just like holding like a bottle of wine in one hand and like, <laughs> it's like 10 Western cheese one. wheeled. <laughs> this roasting of Lydia smells like cheese and desperation. Oh, that could be the oh. title of my, my, my autobiography. Oh, don't say that. Oh, it's true though. I'm... I'm desperate for your attention. We checked into the Hotel Saint Augustin, Augustine, which we checked into the Hotel Saint Augustine under the name <laughs> of Mr. and Mrs. Elling. <laughs> oh, Just... yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe we're a little bit tell anyone we're here. Um, Just married. <laughs> we are in <laughs> Nobbing here. Uh, no, do, that do, this do, gossip do. will get everywhere. Oh, right, okay. Do you know I mean we're just everyone's like, oh, boring, just married, awful. They, they, they want nothing to do with you. Just, okay, married. We'll just married. I enthused to the concierge. The man smiled. <sighs> we will set up a bottle of champagne. The porter showed us to our room. I gave him a franc, and he backed out with a smile. Louise was already inspecting the contents of the room. Gravity blanket, cheese wheels, <laughs> it's not a wine. Gravity blanket. What the fuck is a gravity blanket? It's a weighted blanket. <laughs> New shoes littered the room. <laughs> I'm sorry I got bored on the way and had to buy a load of shit on Amazon, Louisa said. <laughs> uh, from the embroidered lampshades by the bed to the hotel stationery on the desk in the corner. I've never been in a real hotel. Oh, I've never been in a real hotel like this before. No, I can't imagine that she had. A restaurateur's daughter. Daughter. Summer daughter. had ended somewhere in the mountains. And the September air blowing in from the lake was cold. After inspecting the curtains, <laughs> Louisa pushed the window shut. So what do we do now? I'm going to stop that. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to go back to the regular boy. Listen up, Louisa. Uh, oh, fuck. All options are leaving here. Hold I feel on, like right the father here. is going to be a problem. Because if he anyone... If that's the way they track us down. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The father. He's they just a traitor. He probably, like, gives his daughter... I mean, but they could just follow okay. him, right? To, to us. Yeah, he's useless. Um... Uh, I'm going out, but you mustn't leave this room. The thing is, okay, she, yeah. she's she gotten us through all of these scrapes. I feel like we should just... I don't want to ask around for your father. I don't like the idea of just leaving here on our own, but I guess we have to. I, could, I don't like the idea of using an axe, either. I think we just ask around. I'm going to ask around to see if your father's arrived, and then I'm going to deliberately ignore them. Nice. Uh, uh, this is a bigger city, like Milan. She replied uncertainly. I have people. She nodded. I suppose I should stay here then, out of sight? I put my cool hat on, milady. <laughs> my tipping Malady. hat. I plan to do a lot of tipping. I'll be back within <laughs> the hour, I should think. I paused a moment to look th at her through the open doors I left the room. My Mrs. Ellery. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear. 
That's your actual name. <laughs> I don't want to read this. Oh my goodness! Sprawled on the Sprawled bed. Sprawled drunkenly out on the bed. <laughs> Shoes Ooh, dangling, dangling from uneven shaped feet. <laughs> no sunlight streaming in around here. Upper lip. Catching the sun with those little hairs. <laughs> <laughs> that I love so much. <laughs> oh, it's so true. <laughs> oh, it hurts because it's true. Oh, a moment of perfect beauty. <laughs> Same feeling I'd had in the hot air balloon. The ground falling away, my heart lifting towards soft clouds. Oh, I love. <laughs> oh, yikes. Goodness. Oh, sorry, guys. It's got a bit weird, hasn't it? No, it's got... It's great. I'm loving it. Mrs. Um, uh, 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 that's not her surname, is it? Her surname what? is... Ellie. Vic, 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 oh, Vicky Vicky Vic, Vic, or Vicardi. Vicardi. Yeah. Uh, getting myself picked up by the local police was simple enough. I'm fairly sure I even recognised one of the men who nabbed me. The beer house was not as empty as the one in Rivera... But it still offered a good selection of dank corners. Uh, there you are, Smith, my friend began. Well done, old man. You've done a good job not arousing suspicion while you've been here, he remarked. Though I can't say you've done a good job at much of anything else. Listen up, smoker boy. I've got the Italian girl with me, see? And I need your help with a few matters. Oh. Yeah? Yeah, I need your help with a few matters. I didn't. Oh, I didn't realise they were actually called gravity gravity blankets. I thought you were just being an idiot. No, no, no. But it was no. I who was the idiot all along. Um. Really? Oh. Uh, do go on. She's seen the design of a Russian radio set. She's memorised it. You see, the well, Nazis had an occupied a disused military bunker in the High Alps, or we left the German agents in the Central Alps. But she'll be coming after us. See? Yeah. That's the one we that's what we're concerned about, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What well, that she's she's after us, yeah. Yeah, we don't really want to tell him what she's done. Yeah. Oh. You're worried for the Italian girl's safety. Yes, the Nazis had occupied the district military bunker with the high ups. Mm -hmm. I blew it up. Good man. The cigarette pondered for a moment. It was the time to ask. I need papers for Louisa to get her into France. You don't, actually. You'll be handing her off to our boys here at Zurich. Is this guy English? Maybe he's actually English. Um, yeah, let's make him English. If that what Control thinks is best. I want her access to the border. I want, I want her across the border. It'll be safer for her. Will she talk to them, though? It's me she trusts. Yeah, hmm. I think we need to... I think I need to say that. That's a fair... Hang on, he's English. Who should I... What? I'll be him. Oh, you'd, be, you'd be posh Englishman. That's a fair point. <laughs> the cigarette well, I it. flared a final time. You nailed it. <laughs> then it was stubbed out. Uh, mm, still a no from me, I'm afraid. I heard a chair scrape back. You've not pro proven yourself up to the task. Not from what I've seen of you. It was real menace in his tone, Aubrey. Leave the girl here and walk away. You're done. We'll be in touch. Oh my god, this is that James Bond twist. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's I'm actually big... right now looking up James Bond on Amazon. You can get them all for not that expensive on DVD. I don't think you want to buy buying DVDs in 2020. I don't mind though. Um, on Moolagas, eh? I passed a woman <laughs> selling flowers from a stall. She had roses, so they looked a little tired. And also delicate bouquets of snowbells and primroses. I wasn't feeling in the mood for grand milady gestures, however. I'm in the doghouse with control now, Aubrey. He's signing my final check right now, for all I know. I hurried on to the hotel to get our bags and go. Well, listen up. All we need to do is get those plans out of her head, and then I can have so them under control, and then they won't want anything else, right? Yeah, and then we can live happily ever after with oh. her. And oh, God! Shit. I rode the elevator to the first floor. I wanted to use every minute I had. I pushed open the door to the room. 
First thing I saw was the curtain flicking in and out of the open window in the breeze. We shouldn't have left her. Louisa? 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 Yeah, Louisa. Oh, oh. Nothing. Crunchy, crunchy glass. I crossed to the bathroom door. My shoe was crunched on something. The window was broken. The window had been smashed. Louisa. There was a trace of blood near the frame. A bottle of champagne lay shattered. Its contents mm. still fizzing onto <gasps> the boards. Like Suck it off the floorboards! Blood Don't waste it! <laughs> flowing upon my broken heart. Suck it up! Suck it from the carpet! I jumped through the open window. I stuck my head into the alley. Maybe just stick your head out. I don't think it's a good idea to jump out. I heard the roar of an engine, the squeal of a car cornering too fast. I was out of the hotel into a car of my own before the echoes had faded. Car chase time. Jay's Bond car chase. How many times is the dog going to be kidnapped? I know, right? I don't know. We learned the lesson that we can't let her out of our sight. Oh, God, it's absolutely hopeless. I tell you what, like, <laughs> Every time we leave her alone, I get so gets frustrated by these contrived stories that have yeah. to constantly be capturing people, kidnapping people, know exactly where you are at all fucking times. Like, like, I don't like that stuff. I've been, I, I, I don't know. I've been watching, um, just thinking of like, just I've been watching TV shows, you know, lately, yeah. like actual yeah. reels. Like we, we watch a lot of murder stuff and just yeah. watching how criminals how easily the most idiotic criminal can just fucking get away with it and make a new name and go somewhere new and like you know but if you just you know you fucking go to like the city of zurich and suddenly bam someone knows exactly where you are in like two seconds it's like what there's always just some bloody coincidence or you know that's how well that's how they make these stories work i guess like it has you yeah have you seen have you watched dial m for murder no, I haven't. It... You should watch it. It's really, really good, and it's about like trying to do the perfect murder. Um, it sounds and... like a it sounds like a, a thing that my gran would have watched. Yeah, it's a Hitchcock. It is. It is. It it's from out... 1954. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an old, old film by Hitchcock. Dial M for murder. It's really good, though. It's really good. I watched it the other night, um, and yeah, that's about trying to do like a perfect murder. I'll watch it today. Yes, do it. It's good. I've got some time. Well, I haven't actually. After this stream, I'm going home, doing some shopping. I'll have some lunch, and then I'm streaming with Ben forever. Oh yeah, so you got to watch forever. Maybe I'll watch it tomorrow. Uh, maybe anyway, you save it. Let's see if we can get through this game. I think this is the end. Mm -hmm. We drove north at breakneck speed to the Rhinefall. Rhinefall. Um, Let the Rhinefall. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. This has got to be the the like the finale, right? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, where are we? Oh, little, little car. Quick one, Aubrey. She drove north about an hour. Then she came off the main road after dashing. On the slower road, I dropped back. Wanted her to think I'd overshot. She's parked at the Rhine Falls waterfall, right on the border. So there's either it's good a place as any for this, or there's a narrow bridge behind the castle. Mm, narrow bridge. A narrow bridge behind the castle goes all the way to Germany. Tiny guard post, quite possibly in the pay. Can't see her. She must be near the bridge. Not sure what she's waiting for. Still persuading Louisa not to scream for help, or giving her one last chance to talk on neutral ground. Mm. This close to the border, there's only one way to stop her. That gun. Fuck it. I should have killed her back in Monserini when I had the chance. Or, as soon as she appears, I'm charging. Or, this close to the border, there's only one way to stop her. Maybe that one? Yeah, there's only one way to stop her. I'm going to take a run at her. Over the edge. Into the water. I'll give this to a passerby. There's a few about holding picnics at the falls. Ha! Huh. Gosh, so I'm giving the book, I'm giving the, the postcard, the final postcard to the oh, passerby. No. Nice ride nice to you, Aubrey. Aubrey. Damn your eyes. <laughs> Tell control. I 
going to need to be sharper. Quicker. It's going to be bad, Aubrey. Worse than they're letting on. Is this the war? The war? The war he's talking about. Is this a Reichenbach Falls thing? Happy New Year! We wish all our readers a happy new year as we eagerly look forward to the end of the war. For many Britons, this New Year's celebration will be their last chance to enjoy some of their favourite foods, following an announcement of plans to expand rationing to butter, bacon and sugar. So... We push forward in time. What was the Reichenbach Falls thing? What was that? That's the thing I've heard of. It's a James Bond thing, right? Um... Mm. It is, a, it is a Switzerland. This is a, it is a Switzerland. It's a Sherlock Holmes thing. Oh. It's where fucking Sherlock Holmes died. Oh, fuck, right. It's yeah, a yeah, yeah, Swiss yeah, yeah. waterfall where he, he died. Is it? Didn't the game talk about it last week? What, the Sherlock Holmes died in a Swiss waterfall? Yeah. Did it? Uh, I'm sure I've heard about that really recently, so it must have been in last week's stream. <laughs> Spoilers, Fav, for a hundred-year-old year story. Old story. <laughs> Literally a hundred years old. Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that sounds really familiar. Yeah, they they mentioned it in the last time we played it. He must have been on holiday or something, do you reckon? Old uh, Arthur Conan Doyle. Conan Doyle, oh, man, I've spoken about this on this show before, but on this stream before, but it's really interesting mm. to because he was a, like a medical doctor, wasn't he? And... Um, he sort of hated Sherlock Holmes after a while. Oh, really? Yeah, because he sort of... He felt like it was like his... He, he didn't... He wrote other things, right? That mm -hmm. he couldn't, like... He, he, he couldn't... He felt like he, he didn't want to be defined by his Sherlock Holmes. You know, that's right. not what Arthur Conan Doyle wanted to be famous for. And he sort of killed him sort of spitefully. Um... But then had to bring him back after he loved money so much. Yeah. But I think so, I think he just realised that the love that people had for his character was not equal to a dislike for him or some sort of judgment on him. Mm, mm. Um, yeah, he. I guess it's be tough if you write like you know, a kind of like a J.K. Rowling, Rowling sort of thing, where if you write a massive story, that's all you'll ever be known for. Like, and if you try and branch out and do other stuff. Where, the only thing where I'm ever going to be known for is the old Jaffa factory. That's, that's, yeah. that's is my that fucking your Sherlock? white whale. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I did. I know, it's the opposite of white whale, isn't it? Because in, um, I'm not chasing that, am I? It's my, it's my Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Uh, Lewis, your, your shirt matches this game nice says uh, Anna Tonks. Thanks, I didn't mean to be pastel today. Coordination then. I like a little I like a little red pastel -y. Yeah, a little, little nice spring number there. You look very fresh. Ready for ready for spring. Ooh, Sherlock Holmes was very important in actual police work development. Scotland Yard faced massive public pressure to use modern investigative techniques to catch the ripper because the public expected a lot more detected after Sherlock Holmes was published. I think that is a big actually impact of crime shows too like cs the csi effect mm, they call mm. it that juries have seen csi and therefore they expect like a level of proof that they've seen in the show before and very often juries have to be told okay no we haven't got a confession like we've only yeah. got like this is all kind of circumstantial you're just gonna have to go with us on this it's you not know. like how it is in the tv shows yeah yeah um, or else I don't think anyone would ever go to prison if they had to be if they had to get like as much evidence as um, they have on things like CSI. Mm, mm. Um, yeah, G GGHQ Online says when I was on jury service, we requested something that wasn't even possible. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, literally physically <laughs> wasn't possible. Well, a lot of the stuff like touch DNA and things like this is all very kind of like kind of crappy. And the DNA mm -hmm. testing takes like weeks to do, yeah, or at least at least time, not not within like a few minutes. And also, people don't have like facial recognition databases and fingerprint, um, zoom enhance, you know, and all that zoom enhance stuff. Yeah. yeah, I think most of the time they have trouble just getting someone's fucking phone. Do you know what I mean? Because they have the password, like 
It's like when you see, um, like, it's like a CCTV footage and it's li literally a pixel. Like, someone's face is just a pixel. It's like, <laughs> here's proof he was there. Like, that could be any sludge monster. Like, who is that? Such bad quality. If we wanted to hear a recording of an interview rather than a cut-off transcript. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, what, he wanted, to, he assumed that it had been a recording, but it was just a transcript of an interview. Yeah. Real police work is more like a thin blue line than CSI. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever watched The Thin Blue Line? It's like a kind of 90s comedy show with Rowan Atkinson mm -hmm. in it. It was very, no, I um, seen that. very kind of, I don't know. I think a lot of. It's like being a soldier. If you're a soldier, a lot of the time. It's underrated, says Douglas. Um, interesting. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, it's. It's. Um, you know, like everyone, like being a soldier is like just long, long periods of boredom. It's just boredom. Well, it's like being a police officer. So much of it is like filling in reports and stuff, isn't it? Rather than going out chasing baddies and stuff. Like, yeah. TV shows and movies kind of just glorify everything. And actually, just, a lot of it's yeah. very dull. Um, anyway, just, just mostly just sitting, waiting, polishing. Tidying, cleaning, preparing for something that might yeah. never happen. Yeah, you know? yeah, uh, yeah. Have you have you done jury service? No, um, never. I've never, never done it. Yeah, I've never done it. Apparently, it's always like quite an interesting experience, just because it's so kind of mired in ritual, almost. You know, like yeah. uh, it's been done the same way for a very, very long time. Um. Here we go, yeah. look. I've got two two people in chat there, perfectly summing up Twitch chat. Lewis is completely qualified to be described the experience of being a soldier, but then the guy behind him, in the military, can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> so so we've got the backseat Twitch chat, who knows less than me, saying, I know nothing. And then we've got <laughs> the fucking guy who's actually in the military agreeing with me. Surprisingly, I didn't expect that at all. But So, so he malayed, so the military guy malayed me, <laughs> and the other guy fucking <gasps> trolled me. Good stuff. Um, oh. This entire conversation, Pam has been sitting in front of the monitor, chasing the cars, going back and forth. Mal Lewis. Mil military. <laughs> Mil <laughs> military. Uh, what's sorry, Pam be doing? What's she chasing? She's oh, chasing what, the, the car. car oh, that's so <laughs> cute. That's so cute. <laughs> we need some... We need some... We, we need Pam some can. Pam can. We do. Yeah, she's adorable. I heard you were just like like basically super slob mode this morning so you were like oh, oh yeah no can for me i'm in my pajamas <laughs> i didn't sleep well last night oh dear um i didn't sleep very well i had like a really weird dream a really vivid series of dreams that I, when i woke oh, up oh yeah yeah I, did... I was talking about a bit on triforce but i just I woke up and I, I had i was doing something and steve was there and he was yelling at me and we had a big like super big argument and i threw a chair mm -hmm. at him and oh, God. He, and he walks off. It was in my dream. And yeah. I obviously I've never I'm not that kind of person normally, but for some reason in my dream that's what happened. And um that was that wasn't a dream, that was real. <laughs> <laughs> that actually happened. That was what P Flex jokes as well. Um but no, and then I woke up and I was like, Oh man, I felt really guilty about what I'd done in my dream. Um mm. and I had to and you know like sometimes you have like stays with you and i was just uncomfortable for no reason for a little while yeah i know exactly what you mean when you have one of those dreams and it's just yeah it unsettles you yeah it felt so real sometimes that's what i think sometimes that is why meditation and things like this can be good for you because certainly in the morning they can just like clear out unconscious crap in your brain because i think mm. if i hadn't taken like five minutes to sit down quietly this morning and be like okay here's where i am you know, and put myself in my, settle myself in my head, mm -hmm. I think I might have, like, just felt a bit grumpy all day or mm -hmm. anxious all day and not know why. Because sometimes you do do that. Do you know what yeah, I mean? absolutely. Yeah, you can, you can just, it's, I guess that's the saying, right, wake up on the wrong side of bed. Like, you know, you can wake up from a horrible dream and just feel, like, anxious and weird and horrible from it. Does anyone get that sometimes? Does anyone get that? For, just for no reason, you just feel like you're a bit miserable. I wonder if it's because of that sort of carrying, like, unconscious stuff 
Sorry, I'm really just waffling completely off topic. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, you know, we like have Lori like a, tan a, ta a, ta a tangent on this stream. Can't believe we'll say it. Um, Hayden Newell doesn't dream ever. Oh, wow. really? Do you sleep very well, Hayden Newell? Yeah. Do you sleep very well? I tend to only remember my dreams when I've been woken up by an alarm. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. My my, cl my most clear real dreams are like nap dreams. Like if I wake up and then fall back to sleep for a little bit, that dream will be like super intense. Yeah, and I can remember it pretty well. Apparently yeah. that's the way to like start taking control of your dreams as well is to like have a notepad by your bed and just make a note or, or try and recall what you did. And apparently that mm -hmm. makes you better at recalling your dreams. And then... Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, you... I always forget them. I just don't know how much... It's almost like, you know how when... Like, for me, like, it's if, it, if there's a lot of things to do and it's like, I've got to remember to do this, I've got to remember to call my mum, I've got to remember to ring my nan, I've got to remember to order some, you know, new toothpaste, I've got to remember to get some... <laughs> do you know what I mean? You've got loads of things that, like, yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah, yeah. and they all build up in your head. That stuff, for me, is like... That weight is like almost like the anxiety that I need to get out. And the best some way to solve that, apparently, which worked for me as well, is um, mm -hmm. just just be, use lists. Write more lists. Yeah, yeah just, just, I write so many just lists. Just take it out of your head onto like onto a little, paper. onto, mm. for me, it's like Google Docs. And then I've got yesterday's list. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I did do these things. I tick them off. I cross them off. And then like, like, like lists are positive, are very positive. Yeah, I my my phone is full of them. Like just the notes section. I, anything I think of, like which is something I think, oh shit, yeah, I just write it down. So I think it's really helpful just to have it physically out of your head and onto something else. Sorry guys, we're we're getting distracted. Horse chores, shout okay. out to you. Um, How's horse chores? Uh, dear 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 Aubrey, dear Aubrey. Oh, this is Louisa writing this. Holy shit, go on. <gasps> Uh, dear Aubrey, your friend told me to write to you if anything should happen to him. I found your address inside the lining of his hat, along with stamps and metal cartridges of ink. He kept a whole post office up there. <laughs> oh my god, is he dead? He Go was, on. I think, a good man. Maybe he was. He told me he was, but I didn't believe him at the time. Oh, Russell Bow, thank you for the seven gift subs. Thank you so much. <laughs> He was a romantic, your friend. We were romantic. If he weren't a spy, I think he would have liked to be a knight, like in a fairy tale. A white knight? <laughs> tip, 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 Military. <laughs> he could be impatient. I once told him I was too tired to think, and he berated me for it. But that's all right. I berated him for quite a lot as well. I think we like that about one another. I don't know who you are, Aubrey. I assume you were his friend. So was I, in the end, friend zoned. He would want you to raise a glass or something in memory of him. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm so sad he's dead. He liked reds more than whites. He was going to start a vineyard. Did you know that? He'd already brought the land. You deserve to know how he died. He fought until the very last moment, held that horrid woman under the water, even though it meant staying under there himself. Oh, it's because what we chose to do. I wonder if we chose the other thing, we wouldn't have died. Don't come looking for him, Aubrey. He's gone. I know you'll want to, but I'm asking you not to. I hope you'll understand why. I'm going to go somewhere where I can build a wine press and tend vines as far away from the war as possible. One day, I'll send you a case. You got it. Oh, take care. Oh, uh, then you'll know I'm safe. Take care, my friend. Because we chose to... Because well, we said there's only one thing we could do. Oh, it's the end died i wonder what the different endings were i reckon if we hadn't chose that we could have survived well i did look up this and the steam reviews <gasps> were not very positive because apparently the choices that you made didn't really change very oh, much uh, um, i'm gonna have a little look over the alps oh john ingold i think he did um endings. i think i know this guy i think i've met him john ingold actually Like a Telltale game, Foxhound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Why, do you think there's alternate endings? Yeah, I thought there might be, but maybe not. I think that ending is locked in. Oh, is that always the ending? You die? Maybe. Maybe not. 
Maybe there are alternatives. Maybe if we had the gun, we could have just sniped her. Um. Do I can't, there's not really much info I about it. just says it. he liked the voice acting the most. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> God. Uh, it's a me! Louisa! Yeah. Are there three separate endings, says Stave Sam? Is that there's true? There's three. Is that true? I can't find it. I can't find the list of endings. Well, uh, it's not very uh, it's not very um popular wait, let's game. See. Let's see how this person ended it. They've got a Do -do 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 -do. Oh yeah, no, he dies in this one. So someone on YouTube's got a playthrough, but he dies as well. Um, maybe maybe it is one of those choices games where it the ending is always the same, you know. Possibly. Oh yeah, look, they, the, the actual official Twitter is tweeting us playing it. Oh. Watch. Hello, official Twitter. Watch at Yogscast, Lewis, Lydia, and Lewis. Lydia and Lewis. <laughs> play over the apps on Twitch Live right now. Okay. I don't know whether. Um... Yeah, who's 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 Do joining you know Gold? Google is Google Googles. Can you see anything about it? John Ingold. I think it yes, just changes much. It is just the same on. guy. I've met him, John Ingold. He's a nice guy. Yeah. He wrote uh, Heaven's Vault and 80 Days and Source, well, helped make the, oh. the whole thing. But he runs uh, Inkle, yeah. Inkle, Inkle okay. Studios. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Well, there you go. That is a game. I think this is on iOS as well, or at least it's actually on Apple Arcade. I have Apple Arcade. Oh my paying, goodness! Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Paying, paying the, paying the fee. Yeah, Heaven's mm. Vault was was good. Oh, yeah. oh, Stave Sam is th is he the dev? Oh my God, he's a dev. There's an actual dev in the chat. He's the dev who said There's three endings. The... I didn't oh my realize. goodness! Hello, I didn't dev. realize. I was sorry. I was I was I was giving your game a bit of grief. I didn't mean to. Um, we very much enjoyed it. Thank you very much for making it. Um. Thank you. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was good Sorry fun. about our terrible accents and our constant piss-taking. I feel f so bad now. Backtracking. Well, I'm, back, I'm backpedaling. Amazing. What do you mean? Fucking nailed it. Every accent. Impeccable. Spot on. Perfection. I enjoyed it greatly. Overwhelming. Oscar winning. BAFTA um, award nominated. And take a look at that code there at the end. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Literally just... What was that code? Shit. What was the code? I did see a code and I was like, I didn't know what it meant. It's like Shit. a secret message. Use the code. Everyone's saying use the code. What was the code chat? Fuck. Clip it. Can someone clip that code? Um. Oh, there we go. Do me gently. Copied it. Sorry? Oh. Do me gently. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck it out. What does that even mean? H. H. Zahudvan ha has. See if we can work this out, Lydia. Sam says we loved your accents. What does this make? What does this? What does this mean? Um, Hang on, let me bring up some display <laughs> capture. <laughs> J. I Shit. think sorry, I've got one Sorry, what sorry. It takes. sorry I, I, I'm doing it wrong. I used the wrong thing. Uh, bam. Sorry, everyone. Display capture. There we go. All right, sorry, I muted the stream for a second by accident. Uh, oh, they, I don't know what uh, I'm doing, Lydia. I killed I the audio. I want to do acting in a game. Um, uh, I can't do that. It is a, it is a vin, vig. Vig Vignier Cypher. A what? Who's that? Is that Elon Daughter's name? <laughs> <laughs> Is it just a... I wonder what it means. So, what, it's just a cipher of switching one letter for another? So it's just a regular... There are tools to translate. Is there like a Google like Google Translate or for codes that would do it? 
Damn yeah. her eyes. Damn her eyes. Do we need a keyword? Um. Hmm. Well, H. This H and J with the hyphens is weird, isn't it? Do you, do you know what I mean? At the at both ends. Yeah, that is what. That's like implies initial the initials of the person. Or... But the hyphen might just be a swap for a different letter. Mm. And the dot might be a swap for a different letter. And this might be a swap. So all of these E's, these might be E's or the A's. Yeah. So vowels. Or look at these. There's two. There's lots of Z's. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a okay. Hot set. This is a cipher. Hot set. I'm gonna copy that. Are you um, gonna put it through a a code breaker? I'm gonna break the code on oh. Google. Well, You're gonna I Google would. a cipher decoder. I feel like that's I feel like that's allowed because you can pretend to be a hacker. I'm hack. I'm in the mainframe. Uh, it won't let me copy and paste though for some reason, so I've got to manually put it in. Like okay, go. Amazon, yeah. Uh, z. Uh, uh Uber. Pfft. Uber, me Uber. Fla. Dot. J. Okay. So what's what is? It's not over yet. It's not over yet. That's what it says. Who says that? Someone in chat. Someone in chat figured it no, out. No, no, I did. No, no, I did the. I did the. Um, someone posted a um decoder website and i did it in that and there's loads of different options that comes up but the the, the first one is it's not over yet so it's a swan song that must be aubrey 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 swan, swan song. song it's not over yet c Hold on, i'm posting it's it in not that. over yet yeah there we go that's it and then c so the so the character these characters are part of it yeah it's who's c we again we should have known that this was it. it's control Oh, control. Oh, Swan Song. Aubrey, it's not over yet. Control. Yeah. So there's like, there's some more. There's more Ooh, to it. There's more to it. Sequel confirmed. Damn her eyes, Aubrey. Damn her eyes. <laughs> Bronzebot wants us to play Space Outlaw now. Bronzebot, for goodness sake, hold your horses. We'll do it next week. Um, it's almost the end of the stream. It's almost the end of the stream. I know. I've got to get some, got to get some, some luncheon. And um, chill out before my further streams today. Hoover stream. When? What is the Hoover stream? I got a new Hoover and everyone really wants, wants oh. to watch me Hoover whilst they watch me do wow. it. Wow. Not do it with a Hoover. <laughs> once I use a Hoover on stream. I feel like that's kind of vaguely like, I don't know, like um, sensual. Do you know what I mean like, Central, you, like you like leaning over, pushing a hoover oh, around, like oh, showing you? Well, you know my I mean? good, my goodness, well, my it's goodness. like a butt stream. I think you get banned on I'm, Twitch I'm for doing a hoover stream. I'm not getting my ass out whilst a hoover. I'm not saying get your ass out. I'm just saying the people. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, <laughs> chat? You get banned for that. If there were anyone else it. doing hoovering, sensual. I I just maybe it's just me maybe it's just me. I think I don't I didn't think of that. You you got you don't see Twitch is a gaming platform. I don't want to look at someone's ass. I don't want to see no one's ass. Twitch. (laughs) Yes, you do. You can go to my free cams or whatever to do your old um, (laughs) Hoovering stream. You do it over there. You keep it off Twitch. Twitch ain't for no Hoovering thoughts. I'm a Hoover thought. All right, (laughs) that's the new me. I'm a Hoover. Get out. (laughs) Get out. (laughs) <laughs> hoover song there's a hoover song is this no, you no. Lydia no that's not me <laughs> what's this no that's nothing you're no. doing a little guitar oh, who posted that alright who's posted that I'm furious <laughs> whoever posted that who was that you're banned from my stream forever who posted right. it what, what, Ross what, 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 Rossabo what? Rossabo Rossabo you're banned now forever sorry Rossabo goodbye forever I can't believe you posted that why would you do that to me <laughs> Why would you do that? You to me? put this on the internet, Lydia. What? Oh my god! Fuck this! I'm gone. <laughs> Dave posted it too. You're both gone. You're both gone. You're out the team. <laughs> you're off the bench. I mean, you're on the bench. You're out the team. For God's sake! I don't. I I don't consent to this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fine. Sorry. I was distracted. I'm just trying to fill the last ten minutes of our stream. We can stop early. We've done enough. We've done enough. Um, 
Is Cyber still live? Probably not. Um, uh, you can't play Animal Crossing for more than about an hour, can you? Uh, all right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you uh, so we'll much. We'll be back next week with more of this. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll start Hypnospace Outlaw. We'll, we'll try a different game next week. Yeah, we either do Disco Elysium or Hypnospace Outlaw, but, I, I've, but they both look good. So, I think we should do Hypnospace because Disco Elysium is a big boy. I mean, maybe Hypnospace is too because then the week after we can do um, Mon Poe and Monroe. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because then we can. I don't reckon we can get it done in a week, but I've got it. I've got. I bought it this morning. Yeah. It was a whole, a whole fifteen. It looks mental, and it it's, looks. It's very well reviewed, so it looks crazy. like the perfect game for us. We're very excited. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I've been, yeah, I've wanted to play it since it came out, so I'm looking forward to that. We will do that next week. Thank you, everyone. I'll see Thank you guys you so at everyone. five when I'm going to stream with Ben. Uh, let's see if we can raid Simon Honeydew. Sam says, "Superb stream. Are you two available for voice acting jobs?" Yes, <laughs> I oh, will be. You do not want I us be, to I'll be, be your... your Italian woman in your next game. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you next week. See you next week. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.